Alright, how's it going? Welcome back to more Minish Cap, where, uh, yeah, last stream we basically made it to the final dungeon, but there's just so much other side content and quests in the game that, uh, we're gonna focus today on just completing that stuff out, and, uh, yeah, we'll see how far we get, because there's a lot of fun 100% stuff. Um, for this little quest that we started last stream, we just need some mineral water from the mountain, which is where we have to go for a lot of things, actually, so this will be a good starting point for our quest. I'm just gonna warp out. Which, we're small right now, so I don't think I can warp in this form. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> the song... No, okay. We do have a lot of cool items, too. I want to use more of them. Um, got some hidden techniques. In the meantime, this. Got this cool jump slash ability. And that, too. <laughs> There's so many unique, like, interesting, like, abilities that add on to each other in this game. Like this, long hallway. Don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, chest, okay. Ow. But the acorn stumped me. Oh, yeah, I can swim now. Easy. <laughs> so I just gotta be big. What I think is this way? Yes. So we'll get that mineral water. We'll talk to some people on the mountain. Um, yeah, fusing kin stones. Also, have some more sword techniques I wanna get. There you go. I love just everything. The build up so nice. Yeah, Mario ripoff. Come on. <laughs> you know, love all these top down Mario games. Clearly. Here. Hmm. It would technically be down the mountain more. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. We can practice on some of these guys. New techniques. Jump slash. <laughs> One shots. <laughs> A roll slash. <laughs> I want to see what can one-shot certain guys. I don't think this guy... Oh! He dies to that one! They're normally not weak to normal sword stuff. It's a big splash. Ow. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so we'll go to the bottom for the water at the base. There's some cool stuff at the top. Uh, we'll see. Also, I know there's a giant Goron. I don't know how to get to him, but we will get to him today. I know it's all a side quest, but we'll figure it out. No immediate rush because there's well, a lot of fun things to observe. And one shot. <laughs> Dying to the cobwebs of all things. Favorite Zelda game? I really love this one. Um, I mean, obviously Breath of the Wild and Tears are my favorites, but like in terms of the 2D stuff, this is this game's honestly just a blast. I love this, and the Link's Awakening remake's awesome, uh, along with uh, Link Between Worlds too. So for 2D games, I think those might be my favorites. So let's see, can I get the water that's here? It's this green water I need. Don't get stumped. <laughs> what? No, we have to go to the usual spot. Okay. <laughs> I just saw a giant pool of green water. I'm like, it looks appetizing. So it's down the mountain a little bit more. Ow. <laughs> Spiky cobwebs are a bigger threat than the enemies. I'm on the wrong side of them, so I gotta dust them up. <laughs> Such a big mountain, and uh, it's been a while since I had to get this stuff. I had to get it once for like the quest, like after the first dungeon. Um, it was like the only other time you need it, I think. A little bit of a fetch quest, but a fun quest. Had to get all different types of like waters, I guess. The theme. Also, I think it's that one. That's the pond and ego, too. Um, Specifically this one. It's the only place I can scoop the water. What are we... Oh, it was a store. Nice. I <laughs> was oh, so close. Oh, 
Perfection. Uh, minish, yep. Oh, third Minish tunnel coming up. Oh my god. <laughs> Get the Big Auron sword from Big Auron. I love that quest in Ocarina of Time. It's like a giant fetch quest slash like speed run. <laughs> I can go in. No, okay. I figured maybe not. But yeah. Most all the games have like a trading sequence, which I find kind of interesting. Um, like not like the newer, newer Zeldas, but it's basically a quest where you trade one item for another and then find out where to trade that item for another. And it's the whole sequence until you get like a really good item. Uh, for those who don't know, but the yeah, Ocarina of Time, you did a big one for pretty much the best sword in the game. It was like a two-handed sword compared to one-handed Master Sword. So that's pretty cool. Uh, There's like a Wind Waker one and that was for the magic armor. Um, I forgot all the games that had them, but I don't know, it's neat, because then you have to like play investigator. Where are we going, Minish? Okay. Also, just a heads up, there's a very small handful of post-game items. I'll have to come back after the boss. Okay. That I didn't know. Um, but we're probably gonna do the finale next stream. We'll probably start with that, because I already have the final dungeon unlocked. Um, and then go back for those things, so. Sounds about right. <laughs> also, is it? Oh, I guess this is a quicker war point. Hello, Elder. I love the music here so much. It's like one of those underrated Hidden gems of a theme. Spin. <laughs> Just being overkill. Over green water. And the Pedialyte is now his. Pico Bloom. There we go. Oh, Corn of Water. There we go. I forgot the first one. I think it was a fairy. Or was it milk? It was milk, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. She says, come back when the bud blossoms. We figured out last stream that uh, you need to kill like 10 enemies and he can come back. That's like how the game calculates the time, I guess. Was it 10? I'm pretty sure. Um, either way, we're just going to continue on with her quest and then come back when we feel like it. Four beams back. Ooh. Yeah, I love these hidden techniques. Okay. So next time we'll just warp to the mountain and uh, talk to the people there. So. Yeah. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, second to last stream of this, and then next week will be two finales. Um. Next Friday, I want to do the finale to this game. Uh, but next Wednesday, before that, we'll do the finale to the 100% for tears. So, yeah, finishing out two playthroughs this upcoming week. Very excited. And then, yeah, we can uh, focus on the next tier series and then, uh, well, probably another Zelda game on top of that within the coming weeks. I was thinking about Wind Waker 100%. Um, because it's been a long time. <laughs> I never 100%ed that one. Why does it keep giving us this shape? Like, I, I would love, you know, less of these, more of the triangles. Incomplete pizza. We were just here. <laughs> well, another reason to come back. Or probably like a blue rupee. Uh, okay. But I haven't been here since, like, when he had to be here in the story, which was like before the second dungeon. I'm sure these guys have fuses. Oh. Yep, sanctuary. Can we diminish roads? Huh. Yep, we've been there. We have an important kinstone to use. Yep. 
Pizza. <laughs> Hefty slice. Oh, and that's on top of the mountain. I think that's a beanstalk seed? Okay. I saw one before, but I was so unsure what to do about it. Like, I put like the Mount Crenel water on it because I'm like, am I supposed to water the seed? No, it's a kinstone. <laughs> if you can't interact with something, 50% chance it's just kinstone related. <laughs> but it's mostly pattern based, so. That's fine. <laughs> This place using the same music. Blue rupee gum. Iron's not the only thing we dig up. Kinstones. <laughs> Yay. You're joking. It's <laughs> it's so not nice with us. <laughs> Who makes those ones so special? Why do I have so much of the other ones? Dug up a cute. Okay, fine. At least we're actually using those. <laughs> They're worth something. Oh, this cave, wait. Uh, I think it was in like the swampy area? When the weird like... Oh no, it was here, right. We almost died there, I remember. <laughs> My, like, one death in the playthrough was, uh, from this area. Going through with, like, only five hearts and there's just raining water boulders. Oh, full-grown mountain, then. Try singing around. I don't have a song. Is there any way to trade off those unwanted kinstones? I don't think so. There's not really, like, a sell feature, or if you trade, it has to be... A valid trade that you find. Oh boy. Okay. The question ones are worth it. Only one we couldn't do was a uh, rupee one. But we'll come back for it at some point. We were. We were just there. That that's a joke. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Very nasty joke. Okay, well, that's all we can do. It's all stuff around here, so I feel like maybe we should get those. <laughs> we were literally just by that last one. How would I have known? I wouldn't have. <laughs> I love being clumsy and losing my sword beams. It's a favorite. You know what? We have some new stuff. Remote bombs. Bye. Oh. Bye. The radius is like zero on that. But okay. It's literally the same as neural bombs, but you control their detonation. It's like blue remote chica bombs. Okay, this, I, oh, okay, we're on both sides. This seems like it might be hard. Is this one way? <laughs> one way, nice. Hmm. Well, top of the mountain should be pretty cool. So I kind of want to get that one. I'm just warping the other side. Whee. <laughs> What's everyone's here experience with Minish Cap? Because I I know a lot of people played it recently, if you have played it. Because um, it just, I don't know, it's a game that never gained a lot of traction. It's kind of like you played it near launch or you played it when it came to Switch type of thing. So I'm happy that more people know about the game now because it's been in my mind for the last couple of years. Like, huh, I should, I should play that game again after like eons. I've already seen so many new things. Cool. There we go. Let's see, for sword techniques, I have... Yep, spin, sword beam, dash attack, rock breaker, 
Just walls here of hit rocks. <laughs> Roll, down thrust. So I've been using all these. Some of the other skills have just been upgrades to those, like faster spin attack. Oh, yeah, and oh, the beam, right. Forgot about that one. <laughs> oh, got poked. It's a beam where you don't need full hearts. Does it work against? No, it doesn't. <laughs> but the down thrust will. Ow. What? Sometimes. Small radii. Oh, yeah, this area. Wait, didn't. Okay. Yeah, that was one of the past teachers. Doesn't have a kinstone fuse. One of them had a kinstone fuse and it led to another teacher, so. And we still need to find like two of them. In... Somewhere, right? This wall is just suspicious. It's not. You know what? Yeah, ha having a great time with this. <laughs> so taking it easy. But it seems like it's a one-way type situation, because here's the dungeon. Um, but I couldn't backtrack that way, so it seems like I have to find the normal entrance. So I think we have to go down in order to go up a different way. Maze Mountain. That's fine, it leads to the sky, so that's always a cool thing. Oh wait, science. We're gonna say it's this one. Looks right. Also neat thing is I can check my map. Yep, two things up there. So it is just up this rock wall. <laughs> Good to know. fun doing this part when you're only at like five hearts where everyone eventually dies see we're just a natural my thing is I try to make damage those challenges out <laughs> as they get damaged okay next time we fully he heal See how far we can make it damageless. Ooh, that was good. As long as your dash attack connects, then it does the spin. Can I flip? Nope. So these guys. I'm trying to understand their weaknesses a bit. Arrows are really good against them. The down slash. Let's use the gust jar. Okay. Yay. So scenic, though. <laughs> the Sound of Music Valley. Oh. Yay. I'll take it. New heart container. Okay, so we have four hearts, uh, 16 more heart pieces? Unless there's another heart container. So I'm with 16 more heart pieces, which... I don't know how they're going to fit all that. There's probably like a mini game where you get some or something. Do you want to go to the castle for that? <laughs> Those two max. That's the max? Okay. Mm -hmm. I know we stop this. Ugh. Damageless. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a blue kinstone piece. Literally kinstone for kinstone. I'm curious, we have the water swimming ability, so do these hurt now? I want to get hit. Please hit me. Please hit me. No. Please hit me. Okay, they do still hurt. Okay. I think that was it for this area. We'll have to go back for that one green kinstone, but... I'm going to check, like, every area to see what we could all use, not use. Okay, that we can get the chest there. Nothing there. Western Woods got two things. Okay. The town.
town. Yeah, let's go to the town. There's the mailman we can get a fun book from. <laughs> also, the gambling minigame has something. Should we gamble our savings away? I think so. Okay. Let's go with a nice song. The source over. So can you catch the raindrop with an empty bottle? I doubt it with moving objects like that. Unless it's a fairy. Yeah. Anything chaotic isn't no. Just by default. Also, we have three bottles now. This is for a little bit of attack and defense boost. Temporary. Don't know the stats. Um, this is the milk person. I would love some milk. You get two servings. M. <laughs> yeah. So it's not just an all or nothing heal. And last spot, maybe for a fairy. Remember when fairies used to heal for uh, all your hearts and past all the games? That and when you die. So just like a new full roll of hearts. We're gonna buy one, hope it's the right one. It was! Okay, it's the green one we needed, so. <laughs> that was a gamble. This is also a gamble. Okay, treasure game shop. Blah, blah. Luck and win big bucks. Um, I don't know, we gotta kin something and something unlocked here, so. Quit. Um, maybe it's this person? We have a kinstone thing here, so I want to see what it is. Yeah. Give it a try. We did this a lot to get some rupees. Oh, if you're feeling... Oh, you got level two. <laughs> Hard. Let's gamble our savings away. Tri oh, okay. So it's only one win, but you triple. Which one is it? I'll, I'll take the first chat uh, suggestion. This way I don't have to blame myself. Haha. <laughs> uh, no. It just, last time we did it, you guys picked it, and it was like right every single time. So, I will go with whatever works. Right's kind of cool. Can't go wrong with the center. Three? Okay. <gasps> yeah! There we go! I mean, I assume by three you meant the third one. Um, but there we go. <laughs> Price is 30 rupees. We'll do it once more. I'll go with the next suggestion. Uh, don't push your luck. Let's do it. This one already said middle one. Both for the last guess. Three again? Okay. You made me lose. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. We have literally infinite money. See? None of it was my fault. <laughs> That's just gambling. But, honestly, we have literally nothing to spend rupees on. Besides that one kinstone we bought. So, yay. Oh, and this thing. I think after this thing, which is like 200 rupees... We're all set. <laughs> Oops. Oh no! Wait, can you run away from the bird? You can! <laughs> you can just summon a bird if you want. <laughs> Wait, can you summon someone more at once? <laughs> bird attack! <laughs> run! Wait, what if you play it while you're being... <laughs> He's like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> the bird off screen is going like... Shoom, vroom, shoom. <laughs> like, making loops. Okay, well... I 
could use the last two issues now, isn't it? Or did I need unlock? Oh, it's not in yet, because I have to uh, pass on another technique. So I still have to find that. Right, because we did buy one of them. But that's the confusing part. Where is it? Um, we're just going to do every kinstone piece we can. It's not post-game or anything, right? Like, now that I know that's a thing. I think we're just genuinely missing it, which is fine. But in the meantime, we can do more of the shells, so. We have a lot of these now. Trade more figures. Um... That almost guarantees I'm just maxing them out every time. So, suck to spend like 50 of them and not get anything. I like seeing these. Tech tights. <laughs> Pure around where we just were. Unpredictable. Indeed. There we go. <laughs> it's going to be hell for the last ones, but we'll see. I know a lot of these kinstone things we're still getting a lot of shells for. So yeah. Business. <laughs> They'll pop out and spit seeds at you. But they sell things. I like having the enemy salesman hybrid. Most time it's a scam, but sometimes, situationally. And also, I only had like 900 shells, so what, like 15-ish drawings would be the max. Okay, Town Percori. Move from Minish Fills till Hyrule. <laughs> Backfires. And you try to walk up to the like stray dogs and cats. Oof. You think the strap might be to do one shell pulls, but it's not very good content. I mean, then it's only, well, it's, that's fair. Like, it is technically better return, just more time, so I get it. Um, plus, we can always buy shells, too. Rock choo-choo. Wear rocks. They protect them. I guess theoretically, if you, let's see, yeah, because with three shells, you should probably get, be able to get one, but I'm spending like 60 shells to guarantee one. So really, it that is true. But we have so many shells that I'll just keep maxing out because you can only hold 999. Um, so this is fine. Also, is there a way to know your game progression? Like percentage? Uh, there isn't because the newer games just have that because it's map percentage. So just like what percentage of things you have marked on the map. This game, it's not really like that. So no. So yeah, Larry seems gruff, but he's trustworthy. We just saw that guy. It's doing all the people we just saw on the mountain. So coincidentally. Just do a couple more. The The goal here is to stay below like I don't know, five hundred total shells, just in case we get a bunch. Cause we had that happen where I had max shells and I got like two hundred or more. All went to waste. Bampe. Mm -hmm. Speak with the dead. I love how so many of the like uh I think like characters and some enemies are very much based off of like Ocarina Majora stuff. Because I was just sort of the staple at the time, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm right after those games, basically, by a little bit. Um, but yeah, having like Dampe, um, a lot of reused like music from those games, and just some similar characters. Yeah. The uh, early 2000 Zelda was pretty distinguished. 
Seven students follow Malari. Yep, got Malari, got this guy. <laughs> like, do you have a higher chance of getting the ones we just visited? Or is it really just luck? Okay, we're gonna do two more here. Just draining everything. But our collection's going strong, so. I'm fine with this. Fire Wizard Robe. We just got the ice one. Uh, the ice ones you can counter with fire, but there's not an ice weapon to counter the fire ones. Yeah. Elemental counters have been a thing for a long time. I think I remember in uh, Ocarina of Time, you could literally like pick up like the blue fire stuff uh, and then just like dump it on the ice enemies. So, like in a bottle, it's literally just fire in a bottle and you can dump it on ice things. One shots. Oh. This game is National Lantern, so a bit better. Goron! <laughs> yeah, these iron eaters once lived in Mount Krennel. Aww. Now they live quietly in a lone cave. <laughs> Okay, we got the best one, so I kind of want to see what we're looking at now. I'm missing one. I thought it was going to be Vadi, but Vadi's here now. Um, the king? Could be the king. Okay, we're going to go fast over some. <laughs> yep, Ocarina of Majora's Mask character. Same with that. <laughs> um, Ocarina of Majora's Mask. Reference to the gods. Um, a lot of Minish Goron. Also, I love how it's like Pecori stuff, Pecori stuff, Goron. <laughs> Pecori stuff. Uh, okay. We did Pita. A lot of these scenic things that you gotta get. I'm gonna go fast now just to see how many empty spots. So it's more than half, definitely. There's just a lot of uh, holes. <laughs> I like these guys. Cloud piranhas. Silly. Armored. Got all the wizard ropes, looks like. And like most things there. Okay, we're doing good. We probably have to come back for a few figures after we beat the game, I'm assuming. Oh, we're doing one more, just. Okay. Because I thought it would be cool. 70, 80, 90, oop, 68. Beetle! Yeah! <laughs> Another returning guy. Very good at finding Pico Lights made by Minish. I, I, I forgot to scroll down. What was number 22? Yeah. Made by the Minish. Very, very convincing about helpful properties. See, some of them were good because he helped you find, like, I think one's for shells, one's for kinstone pieces. Oop. Cancel. Woohoo! Now I know you can do that. I'm gonna be silly here. <laughs> Blow up grass. Here with this big bomb bag, we can just do a lot. Mm. I think the goal right now is though, just... Okay. Talking to most people. I'm not sure many fuses opened up, to be honest. Not? Mm -hmm. It's like I have to be sure. Only so many houses to check. I really want to find that one big Goron though. So, yeah, currently we have 210 shells, so we have room for a big adventure. This is closed off for some reason. I wonder why. Does not need to go in there anymore? Or is it trying to like block you off intentionally? Hmm. See, it being off just makes me want to go in there more. So I think we can. We can I get? Up? I'm trying to see if there's a miniature passageway. It seems to be blocked off because I can't. 
be managed and go past these roads. Unless I exited from the sewer. <laughs> Yeah. Now I'm no question. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We still have the one of the one that we needed. I'm just going to go to map sections and clear out the kinstone stuff. All right, we can always go here. We can get that uh, kinstone thing and then figure out what the next part of the quest is for the bottles. I feel like that's probably important for something. So yeah, it will warp. <laughs> Wait, the carpenter house got the minish thing. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just read that. That's all the way down here. Wait, can I swim past the river? Okay, we're going to try to figure this out really quick. And if we can't, then we'll go to Minish Woods. If we can, we'll still go to Minish Woods after. So can I get past this bridge? Well, I guess I can't even do that, so. <laughs> yeah, it's like the closest one, and. <laughs> no, okay. Or maybe we'll figure it out later, you know? We'll still be going back, back to town eventually. Kind of in and out. <laughs> Pick it up. Oh, and back in it. <laughs> so get the chest, figure out the quest. Blue rupee. <laughs> Can some piece. Same thing. <laughs> Look at a lot of these green ones just give you blue ones, and then barely any of them take blue ones, so it's, like, helpful. I don't think I can read talk to them. No. That's how we got remote bombs. I like those. I'm just looking out for the kinstone stuff. But more than likely, it's just going to be in the quest. Charge and then down here. That's okay. <laughs> Plenty of bombs. Yeah, yeah sprints. Oh, useless. Blue pico bloom. All thanks to you. So I think it's available in town. I just didn't talk to Beetle about it. Uh, need a red potion. Okay. That's likely... Who sold potions? Was it in town or... Was it a... Potion person? I think there's a potion person nearby. Well, it might be the last one. I'm not sure. Figure it out. <laughs> the witch, which, which was pretty close by. Uh -huh. Hmm. I have to go up a bit, maybe swim a bit. How's the stream going? It's going good. I'm uh really loving this. I love how there's just so much to do. Um, past like the beaten path. I think in terms of just like interaction and really just fun bits of weaving throughout the world, this 2D Zelda game does it the best out of them all. Because it really is a lot. Um, it's definitely not one of the harder 2D Zelda games because some of them do get pretty hard, especially the older ones. Um, but it's clear enough where it's just very fun to go about it and it's not overly stressful. It's a bit more chillaxed than uh, I think it's nice. It's kind of the cute style. Allows you to just, you know, play around with the different mechanics. Jumping, gliding, down thrust. A lot of different ways you can remix. 
Yeah. Any <laughs> water for you. Right, that was just for this. The spiel. I don't think this will be helpful any. Let me find another bottle. A lot of heart containers. It's like, where are these things I lack? Oops. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, there we go. Was it here? Maybe. Red potion person. I'm gonna look at my map again. These are like top of the woods or... Yeah, but what's top of the woods? Okay. Still gonna check because I'm not sure. It seems to be here. Okay. Syrup. Blue po Uh... Blue potion. Wait, what's the description? I'm. So <laughs> full of energy. Um, I guess just life potion. Thought that's what red potions were. Wait, then where's red potion? <laughs> I feel like that's a kinstone thing, where it's like she gets an idea after a kinstone fuse. So I'll have to find that one, just like we have to find the swords person. That I literally cannot. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Everything looks good here, though. Uh, Lake Hylia fuses. There is none. I'm gonna warp to an area where there is. Or rather just travel on foot because. Maybe not. <laughs> I can't do that one yet. No blinking. Um that's for the tingle quest. Yeah, I'm still have to find some like tingle people, so. I guess we'll see. We have Veil Falls. Cloud tops is a no, usually. I'm still going to look around, because there's people we have to, like, run into. I'm not sure where all the Tingle Brothers are. Find two more. <laughs> nice. Oh, wait. Uh, actually nice. <laughs> Nothing's an obstacle anymore. But can you... Oh, you can go straight there! That's so cool! You can escape very late, but it's awesome. Oh my god, that's awesome, actually. <laughs> Hooray. Do I need to be up here? Not really. Yep. That's awesome. I didn't even think about that. But recently obtained, so that's okay. Okay, we got this Tingle guy. Didn't we? We did. So we got purple one, green one. So pro probably they're like all different areas. So I found green one here. Purple one here. Uh, not sure where the others would be, per se. Could literally be anywhere, I think. Not really faster. <laughs> it's more stylish. Wait, what does that sign say? Oh, yep. <laughs> All the directions. Also, what do I think the flagship game will be for Switch 2? Um, I mean, Zelda's pretty close. Like, we just had one, so... 
I mean, 3D Mario is always a good one because we haven't had one of those in a long time. I know Wonder just released, so, which I believe was made by the same people, so I'm not sure. I'm not, like, super excited for a new console, though, because, like, Switch is still very awesome, so it's, like, you know, always just more hype for games, and Switch can run basically any game, so that's Nintendo. Guess we'll see if Metroid uh, it comes out by then, maybe. So who knows? But I love 3D Mario. Always just so many good ideas. Like Odyssey is just one of my favorite games ever. Um, every world's very fresh. Uh, the constant captures and platforming. It's a game that just keeps going and going and it's always surprising. So I love it. Wait, this area, uh, you get one tree open per tingle saved. So we need to find the other two tingles. So that's why I'm not warping, I'm just kind of walking around, because that's about the only way to find them. Okay, we, won't, we got those secrets. We, we got a lot of secrets. I'm surprised. Also, I don't think I can do this, but... It's like, why not? Oh, you're gonna do the faster charge. I forgot we unlocked that. That was one of the swordsman techniques, I, I believe. You fill your duplication meter faster. There's an upgrade for, like, everything. Which you don't get in the 2D Zelda games a lot. Okay, Royal Valley, I would... Hate to come back here, yes. We're all good. Bye bye. Oh, not. Still a kinstone piece for that waterfall. First, I know we're close to another thing. There's always another thing. Theme of the game. Things. You know, I have a good feeling that this area I'm about to go to has one of the tingles. It seems to be all areas surrounding the town. Unless there's an outlier, but... Beam, beam, beam. <laughs> That's all you need. Beam, 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 beam. <laughs> okay. Life's easier when you're fully replenished. Hearts. It's not this one, it's one page down and to the left. First one was this. Alright. Books. No thanks. Mm. Also, did I just miss something? When the tingle things? I'll, I'll, I'll come back, but I... I thought it was decently thorough. It's okay, I'm gonna get this thing. Oh, we just dash right through him, nice. Nintendo loves patterns. Which is good, it helps, uh, you know, the player understand where things will be a little bit. Especially for 100 percenting Okay, that's got it. This opened up, but it's literally nothing, so I feel like it's a dig site. If I check my map, oh, I did not mean to talk to Ezlo. <laughs> We're side questing. Gotta be. Oh, it's an area. Oh, it's an area with big rupees. Okay. <laughs> really thinks we need the money here. Oh, I lost a red rupee. Oops. Okay, that's sometimes what it is. Which means we just have all this money. <laughs> How interesting. Hmm. Is there another one? There was a like money thing here? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, just a heart piece kinstone. Remember that. 
A gold knock rocket. <laughs> Fine. How fast can I spam this? <laughs> Yay. I don't care, just get him. Perfect. <laughs> Ooh, present. Well, there's another hundred rupees and... Okay. We'll check out the area just above again and... Then I'll go to town and buy some stuff with the money. We're just gonna buy shells, which is not super worth it, but I guess we'll have to eventually. That's crazy. I'm really wondering, do you have to go to the final area to get the final? Like Swordsman Scrolls? Is it stuff I can all get before this point in the game or or what? I guess I'll just take it. Hmm. So I still have two more Swordsman Scrolls that I haven't found, but <laughs> it's like I don't even know where to start. Maybe breaking all these rocks won't help, but it's it's fun, so I'll take that. Also, I'm just getting suspicious that any dig patch I'm like important. <laughs> That's Mount Colonel Base. I still like checking around. Well, the fast dig ability. Yeah, those joy butterflies are nice. You got abilities. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Why'd they put him here? Who in the right mind's gonna come back here to Chuck? <laughs> Me, I guess. Um, Kingstone piece. Well, yay for being one of the common ones. <laughs> Funny, this great, well, great upcoming reward. You just use common pieces. Okay, how the hell am I gonna find the last one now then? <laughs> like. Doesn't seem to be a pattern. Because I'm trying to think like the directions and where the trees are. Like the top left one was unlocked on the bottom side of the map. This left one was unlocked to the left. Other one to the right. But I doubt the final one's gonna be in the castle. Wait, what 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 do you say? No, you said something important. How many have you not found yet? 16 left to go. Oh, kinstones? Is he talking about kinstones? Is that a completion thing? I did not know it was a thing. Uh, actually, completion tracking, which is nice. And 16 isn't a lot compared to like <laughs> the hundreds of felt we did. Yeah. It felt at least. Anyways, I'm going to spend a couple of these rupees so we can carry more. Um, i trying to think. Yeah, where, where would Tingle be? So, map sections, we unlocked one here. We unlocked one here. We unlocked one here. Right? Yeah. So, it's all areas that touch Castletown. So I want to say that the pattern is going to continue. Could it be somewhere here? I can check a bit more thoroughly. Wouldn't it be a bad go, you know? Oh, Mr. Postman. Uh, uh. Greatest delivery challenges. Thank you. Okay, while we're here at the shops, we can see what else we can buy, at least. Red potion? Um. Oh, yeah, so Beetle does sell more now. Green Picolite. Easier to find shells. Easier to find hearts. I forgot where the ones that we unlocked was. 
Easier to find kinstones. Easier to find rupees. Helps you find items. Oh, like replenishing. Not really. But that that shell one? Also, why does the green one equate to shells? It should be the blue one, but <laughs> I don't make the rules, feel. I don't really need Feroz Charm, to be fully honest. I mean, I can always get a free one later. Oh, it changes your color. Oh, okay, so this one's attack and defense. I mean, yeah, the attack one changes to red. That's interesting. <laughs> wonder how long it lasts. Anyways, I'm gonna buy the shell one, cause I feel like maybe you can get shells easier this way then. Makes sense. Um, I'm also just gonna spend a bit more on just some shells. Passed in front of Tingle plenty of times. Did I? <laughs> Is it really, like, not that hard? Also, only two items can't be obtained until you beat the game. Okay. Good to know. So that's not that bad. <laughs> Stuff we can do right after the finale. Once we do. Can't open from that side. It's a dream house, but we got the reward in there. Okay. After this area, we're going to go north to see where Tingle is. If not, we'll keep looking around. Or I'll think about what I could have missed. Oh, and my ability's about to wear off. <laughs> Billy Soul's free. Yeah, this place. How do, how do you get in here? I f okay, I feel like it's quest-driven, and once you help someone, then they... Open the door, and then you can just take the spoils. Um, and that quest either we can start normally or kinstone related. Maybe this is a kinstone quest, so. Also, that kid was not there before? Which kid? Well, maybe not that guy. <laughs> uh, which shop? Mm. Me playing chicken? Oh, yeah, this. I love my dad. <laughs> yeah. If he was, I, w I wouldn't have really remembered. <laughs> hmm. Cafe. Ah, Kinstone. Bring people happiness. Not rupees, but happiness. Yeah. Let the world crumble around you. <laughs> Yay. Everyone else is in misery. Body running wild. Yeah, I... I checked all these places. I don't think they would update. What the? Huh? <laughs> I guess this is a sign. <laughs> that we should leave. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm just gonna... I didn't just vandalize. That's okay. Only 200 rupees. You know what? We need, we need to drain the wall a bit. That's like half a figure for us. Okay. So we have fresh money now. I'm not too worried. Um, we can use the, the Pico lights when we come across like a bunch of grass maybe? Um, because it helps you find shells easier. So I want to see how it works. If it was worth the 200 rupees. Because for 200 rupees, you can get 30 shells. Uh, hopefully we can get more through that. I'll see, we're just gonna... Go like, yay. Yeah, peace. One more. I don't know how pattern based it would be. I'm gonna check this area. They seem to all be outside. That's a theme. And I don't think that's gonna change. Okay, maybe not here. Or maybe here. 
protect the immediate area first. I can't be too certain, but it's like, how do you know without trying? <laughs> oh, I've never been in here. You know, that was a kinstone, or well, I think it was a kinstone thing, the platform. <laughs> Either way, that's good. We're at the phase where it feels like I got everything, but it's certain areas that were I always passed. Okay, well, this is good. Good start. 50 shells. Oh, wait, was this the, uh... Kinstone? It was the Kinstone. Okay, that was marked. <laughs> right, there was an opening. Or the platform was put second dig. Well, that settles that. Not a back wall fuse. Okay. So it wasn't something we just missed. Because sometimes it happens to be that, but not this time. Good to know. Oh, well, there's so many heart pieces, though. Like. Where and how? Crazy amount of side content. Okay, we're gonna check this area thoroughly for Tingle. Just so I can be sure if he is or isn't here. I don't need the heart to. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were just there, yep. What if I swam? I can't swim under the bridge. I don't know. <laughs> Seems to be pretty high up. <laughs> I'll take the ward for it. Can something there I wanted to. Spin got it. Hmm. I feel like we're not making progress. It's Royal Valley. <laughs> it can't be in Royal Valley. I, I think it's all like Hyrule fieldy areas. Am I right on that at least? Is it all Hyrule field areas? Because <laughs> I feel like I just missed them. This one was Lon Lon Ranch, one was kind of that west side, one was the south area. Yeah, so I got a tingle, yeah, east, west, and south, so I'm assuming that the other tingle's north. You know, maybe it's in the Castle Town area, I just... <laughs> I didn't even bother going there because my mind was just like, no, it's not. But I can't listen to myself always. They're gonna be at the front end. Okay. It's like, what's stopping Tingle from being here? Besides a lot. <laughs> that was a swordsman area. I'm gonna make sure for kinstone fuses. Yeah, no kinstone fuse. <laughs> I can throw the grass. Here, we have so many cool sword abilities. I forget about. The non-sword ones. Hmm. Yeah, maybe going in here, he's not going to be there. Um, let's see for the tingle. Search online, maybe eventually, because it's like I don't expect to fully hundred percent this game without a guide. It's going to be like one or two things we miss. If I can't find it after some time, then maybe. Because I just don't want to be tediously running around. If I knew if I was warm or cold, maybe. Outdoors for sure, yep. It seems like you have to travel through caves for two of them. One of them I just had to randomly travel through a cave. I, um, if I didn't travel through a random cave, I wouldn't have seen them. The other one, like, we had to go through a cave, but I could see him from the base level. 
Yeah, I don't think he's here. I don't think he's in the town. Unless he just pulled a huge outlier just to stump me. In the meantime, we can just check around for other things, too. Please. All right. Secret. Exit. Entrance. I love school. Thank you. Oh! Yes. This could be good. It's a question one. We need swordsman schools, big Goron. Um, an area I wasn't expecting? Okay. <laughs> Chest. It's like we were just there. <laughs> yeah, there's like the minor ones that we missed. That's okay, that happens. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it is. Not here. Okay. Well, we found that one kinstone, so that's okay. Let's see the nearby buildings in the mayor house. Because I know some unlock through story events, and I would like to find those. <laughs> You're not helpful, are you? No monsters. Go get them. <laughs> yeah, really not much is opened up here. Let's kind of find a loose thing or two. Which is... Okay. We saw here? Okay, I remember this. Wait, Booger Boy? No. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, Hyrule Castle's weird. It's literally the final dungeon now. When is it not? No. Rated all the rooms that we stayed in before. That's the cheap room. This is the mid room. Expensive one. Dual bed. Dual fire. A lot of cozy cabinet space. Also, the mayor's house is kind of warmer. Really? <laughs> For what we need to do? Where are you, Mr. Mayor? Is it related to the underground passageway? No, it can't be. Also, I'm gonna check the Minish in this area once more because they can have Kinstone Fuses, which is fun, haha. <laughs> then we'll go to the basement. I realized my fatal mistake. <laughs> make sure that I know I'll never have to go back. I don't think it's going to be a Minish Tingle. He likes masks. Alright, we had to do that quest. Well, now we know we, it's completely useless. I like hitting the masks. Destroying his prize collection. For evilness. Four swords. No, I just having four so we can still do it. Is this really what we need to do? It seems far fetched, but. Also, one NPC has like four or five kinstone fuses. Which one? Isn't that ghost? Because they only had two. But they keep saying how they have so many more, so I don't know. Right, the wells. Okay, you see there. Maybe it's the left side. The other entrance was the school, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I kind of dig this area. <laughs> dig. 
This was just the, uh... He's not gonna be in the sewers, is he? Get off. No, I would like to find that NPC with many fuses, because I feel like I've talked to almost everyone, and I still have, like, four more heart containers to go. If anything, I'm just surprised, you know? Trust. Yep, this led to nothing. And the mayor's house was really warmer for what we had to do. There wasn't an up passageway, but I believe that was a school, wasn't it? At least we know where everything leads. So the well passageway, the mayor's house, um, the dig sites, and I think the school are the four forks that lead down here. All oh, right, yeah, it was school, but you don't want to go back that way. Also, you can't go back that way either. <laughs> Maybe this is the only safe way back. Okay. Thank God for fast dig. So is the final tingle guy in Castletown? I guess is what I need to know. Because... <laughs> Please show yourself. Not in town, okay. You see, Long Long Ranch, so let me get this right. Got one here. It was just like kind of to the, right next to me. Like you had to go up on the hill through the cave. Um, this guy was on the top, so you had to basically go through a cave to even see him. This guy was on the right side. It was the first one you had to get. Um, You said the mayor's house was... Mayor's... How about this area? Is that warm or cold? Because I remember the... Didn't the mayor have like a getaway there? I know it's not like a field area like the others, but... It has to be warm. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Can I just know the area it's in? Uh, Tripoli Highlands, Western Wood, South Hyrule Field, Eastern Hills. Wait, oh, we didn't go to Eastern Hills. Am I right by East Eastern Hills? Am I right? <laughs> Ow. Lake Hylia was warm, okay. Sorry, I, I like to know a little bit, but not fully. Because I don't want to just be running around in a circle for a half hour. But if I can find it half organically, that would be cool. Okay. So they're all in Hyrule Field areas, but... I mean, Lake Hylia is a bit of a stretch. But if it... Oops. Wrong one. There we go. Do it like in order. There is like some odd areas where I feel like he could be here. Oh my god! He's in Lake Hylia! I would have never guessed here first. Oh, you know why? You still hear like the main overworld theme. I forgot Lake Hylia is like that because it's such like a integral part to the others. Or like Minish Woods has his own theme and stuff. But Lake Hylia is technically like a branch of the green areas. So I had the right thought. Um, Glad on that, so I don't have to just painfully search every area. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Well, still fine we search all the other areas, because I know closure for, like, kinstone pieces. So we found, like, the one in the school, and I now know where there's not other fuses. 14 kinstones left to go. Okay. We know where one is, we just didn't have the piece at the time. So we'll go back for that. Damn, 14 is not a lot. Oops. Hmm. 
warp to Castle Town, just go up one screen. Okay, I'm excited for this. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. The tingles just. They're always at those loose stumps, right? Which you could have seen before, but. I guess wasn't grasping enough to figure that pattern out. I knew something would be there later, but. Probably just assume Kinstone. Also, was it this one or. Yes, it was. Oh, 200 in this chest. Okay. And then? Aha! Always oh, that center uh, area I thought was a dig site. Well, is now a ladder. Because one of the key items, I know they mentioned a magic boomerang and a mirror shield. I believe in like the, no the notebooks. It could be something else, but given like tingle magic, I'm going to go with the boom. Yeah, magical boomerang. Okay. I don't know where the mirror shield is, and I know there's another bottle, but I figured for a fairy, you have to be magic. Okay. You can control its path. That's really cool. Upgrade. Okay, so. Wait. Oh, yeah, so it's. As long as you hold the button, you can still use it as normal, moving around. But if you hold the button. I'll do it in a bigger area. <laughs> That's so awesome. Wait, what are the limits here? Okay, so as soon as it starts arcing back, you have to call it back, but... You can kind of go back and forth too. Yep, up, down. But as soon as it hits its max, it goes back. That's really cool. Yep. And hit him back there. <laughs> nice. That's very awesome. Why are you just so many cool gizmos? <laughs> Amazing, actually. Yeah, I don't know the soonest we could have done that, but... Oh. Also, I can't get Mirror Shield yet. It, so it might be a fun final dungeon item, I guess. But yeah, I just know this stuff because he ear dropped it in uh, the last area. Okay, well, let me think. So I can go back to Mount Crenel for the one Kinstone. Because I guess we now have an official count of how many fuses there are. Not the mines. I think this guy was either this. No, it's an extra room then. <laughs> Can use all the heart containers, all the everything. Yep, just the rupee one, but can still nonetheless. <laughs> oh, we have two. Oh, nice. <laughs> Another one of these. For all the money we totally need. I can maybe just do that right away. Not too many fuses left, so I don't know how often I'll have to return to specific areas. So with at least 13 left then? <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm still just trying to find the other swordsmen though. That's like my big thing. Is it possible to do both of them at this point? I'm, I'm curious. The goal is to do as much as I can right now without a guide. I know some of you know a lot about the game, but uh, yeah, this is the most I've ever done. Um, <laughs> by sign. Maybe it's a sign. Okay. We'll find them. I'm making like, you know, precise deductions that more to go, and we're not to go. We gotta have that boomerang. Oh. Let's get the stuns. 
Oh, wrong one. Just, just get him eventually. <laughs> it throws very far. Ugh. There we go. Probably the best way is to stun him a bit. Yep. <laughs> just tanks for no reason. <laughs> he hops to the other side and perfect. <laughs> big, big money. Okay, so goal number one, just get all the kinstones that are here at its base. Um, that's clear, that's clear. That is not. That's an easy castle town warp. <laughs> Didn't we? How'd I get there? Oh. Right. Oh, that could be helpful, actually. Yeah, maybe we'll get all three of those in one go. Oh, some kinstones leave to others. <laughs> also reminds you of Scoured Sword's Golden Beetle. What was the Golden Beetle again? Oh, like the beetle. I Oh, right. The one that you can control. Honestly, one of the coolest Zelda items. Okay, let's see if there was one here. There is one there, too. Okay. So quite a few things, surprisingly. That was for the kinstone fuses. Wasn't there a swordsman over here? Now that I remember. What was this? Be train. Wait, can I not train? Oh, what was this a kinstone thing? I'm not ready to train. What? Wait, that means all seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. We're, okay, so it's probably the eighth one. So we need to find this one. <laughs> okay, that, that's a lead. That's a lead. That's a lead. Uh, I can't find that one. Eventually, I might look it up. We're finally getting to that point at 100%. We're just like... It's not too shameful. Because <laughs> you have like almost everything. But I'll do what I can. So let's just clear out everything that we know we can, and then we'll start looking things up. Because the greater percentage we can do with, you know, just blindness is very nice. Ow, ow. <laughs> so where's that kinstone? Sorry, I'm struggle bugged. Oh, it's a lily pad. Oh, for that? Okay, gotcha. We did a lot of Minish stuff here, but that was the one passage we couldn't check out. It's definitely the last one here. Do I have to go, like, here? Yeah, I do. It's not going to be kind to us. Just got to go down first. <laughs> Waiting for the elevator. Essentially. Yes, okay. <laughs> Just missing a riot every time. Also, yeah, today we're just basically just doing all the miscellaneous 100% stuff. Getting some cool items. Uh, trying to find all the heart pieces. Yeah, some of them just for other kinstones that we likely won't use. I don't know why it's so many red ones. Oh. <laughs> but that's fine. For this area, it's that. Then we'll get the guy up there. Just doing what we can. If I can do all but like 10 kinstone fuses without a guide, that'll be cool. Make a thing we can go to the Tingle Brothers to check our progress. around the rock. It's that golden snake. Okay. <laughs> I see ya. Damageless. Not really. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what if I just did the bomb strap? We did stun strap before. Now bomb strap. Please. Please? 
Okay, there we go. The bomb actually came in handy right away. <laughs> Blow him up. Yeah, there we go. Actually, the best way. Instant detonation. All the damage. Also, you know, we're gonna do the the seashell fruit. Apparently, better luck for shells. <laughs> okay. It was 200 rupees for this potion, or 200 rupees for 30 shells, so... If we can get more than 30 shells a reward, that'll be good. <laughs> I don't know how long it lasts. We seem to have went the wrong way. <laughs> it's probably a short time, but... I'm no longer glowing. Did it already wear off? What? It already wore off. We got like 10 shells. <laughs> I paid 200 rupees for that, what? <laughs> it's supposed to like increase it exponentially. I thought it would drop in like bundles of five or something. And then be... No? Okay. Also, why so short? <laughs> Good thing to know that that's not useful at all. All right, maybe... I forgot. We gotta go here first. At least we learn now instead of later. Our way through. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Was it not this way? If that's where we were. We could warp can fix anything, but... No, we'll just loop around this and then we'll find it, because... Judging by map... Yep, down and around. Okay, good. Down. Kind of a big around, but figure it out. I lied warping. <laughs> We're just in the biggest rut. Back to Castle Town. Okay. Maybe then. Sorry, underrated feature. Um, the cows on the map are the best part of the map. They just look so silly with two dot eyes. It just If you think of everything to scale, it's like, yeah, there's some big mountains, some big trees here, you know? And then just like giant cows. Like obviously it's a map, but it's just like the scale of everything's funny. Big cow, normal size waterfall, huge. <laughs> For this, I need to go to the left. Okay. After we get these last few things and I don't find the swordsman, I'm just gonna look up its location. No shame. Because I'll like another hidden ability. Oh. Warmer. Right, it's a chest. <laughs> just one of those. Okay. We have like a billion. Nine, thirteen, nine. We only have like a dozen more kinstone pieces, so very perfect. Okay, let's look at our map. And if everything's cleared out, I'm just gonna look up where that swordsman is. Yeah, no, these were fine. These were all fine, I believe. I think that's everything, then. I'm, like, very confident now. Okay. Oh, right. Wind Ruins. And the Mount Colonel base. Okay, so that's two things, but... Okay. Also, you know... The one I'm missing, if you want to say the map location as a hint. Actually, yeah. Because if we can do the not full spoiler, spoiler version, I guess. Because if I look up stuff, then it, along with how to do it, it shows you exactly what the reward is, too. So it's like, if you know it, honestly, I do appreciate hints. So, eliminates the tedium and almost impossible to 100% without. So yeah, location of that swordsman, I guess. Um, is that right? Yeah, the fourth one. Lake High... You know, that makes sense, because we didn't do a ton there. Like, we did a lot, but it feels like there is something that can be missed. Okay. I don't mind checking this out. 
Um, is it something that required a prior Kingstone Fuse? Because I know one of the Swordsman did. I never explored the entire area. You're, you're right about that. <laughs> it must have just been the one thing we forgot. Maybe two? Oh yeah, judging the fact that we didn't push that boulder. Right, because we did so much side content before Lake Hylia that I was just trying to do other stuff afterwards. And I was just eager. Um, <laughs> a little tingle. I'm going to check our account. Luke Kinstone pieces. I'd rather be out on an adventure like you. What? He has more fuses. <laughs> do we have to go back to all these now? <laughs> I, I guess so. I mean, that's good because that... If they each have one, then that's four. I'm glad we're doing this instead of just getting pieces and having to re-go back for more. Hmm. And that's right next to the warp. Good. I think this one I got. Yeah. It's just the way up I would like to know, I guess. Yeah, how does one get up there? That wasn't the thing we did before, was it? Um. Yeah. I'll say welcome everyone for tuning in. Um. <laughs> we didn't explore this whole area. <laughs> okay. I really thought we did. So this is kind of cool, actually. Whole, uh. Optional area? No way, we just didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yes way. Sorry, that's surprising. But cool, because... Yay for new content. <laughs> I saw what you were. Oh, intersected with another cave. Oh, I'll just... Okay. Ah! The back way straight. Oh, it's a wall? Wait, we did this one! <laughs> I just gaslit myself into thinking I didn't. That's for the Goron thing. So we were here, but just didn't get that heart piece. <laughs> I see how it is. Oh, it's here. Oh, it's the one at least between. Okay, okay. And then the witch's hut, right. I see the issue now. <laughs> oh, oh, that worked. Does that mean that... No, there's still an area. Hmm. I come to think of it, I'm trying to think of what other... 2D Zelda games I 100 percented That's hard. Because I didn't actually 100% look for Tomb Worlds. I don't think I 100%ed Link's Awakening either. You know, come to think of it, I don't think I 100%ed any 2D Zelda game. Because I only did it for the 3D games. I did most things for some of them. So this might be the first 2D Zelda game. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about it like that. We 100%ed all 3D Zelda games, but Wind Waker and then... Obviously Tears, but... That'll be different in... A couple days. Because yeah, final stream for that. Too. In fact, my first Ocarina of Time 100% was just like two years ago, so. Yay for experiencing it all. I believe the first Zelda I 100%ed fully, though. I don't know. A lot happened, so I could have been either Breath of the Wild, Majora's Mask, the Twilight, or Skyward Sword. I don't even remember the order. They all just kind of happened in an era. But yeah. Might have been Majora's Mask, actually. Because <laughs> just so much side content's fun with the masks. Also, I might have went too hot up, so...
you know, Skyward Sword's a very easy one, 100%, because the game barely has any side content, so if you're just doing, like, the natural mounts in between, like, dungeon segments, you're gonna 100% it in no time, so. Hmm. I wonder if we have to enter through Minish. Oh, wait, no, what's this? That's... What the? Huh? Is this... <laughs> Is this really it? Oh my god, I didn't, I didn't come here before, did I? This looks like a sword. It is. We literally didn't go here. So we know the final tour now. Oh, you have a kinstone thing too? Pizza. God. The tingles have kinstone things? Okay. Um, right, we saw this waterfall. I wonder what that one could be then. I might just check it out after. Now we got our momentum back. Yes, Wave Blade. Um, I wonder what these final two skills can be. Dangerous technique for desperate times, like a low heart. Oh. Only have one heart left. Use your last ounce of strength to swing your sword. No turning back. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time to get a hurt. Oh. So it's just beams at uh Oh, so it's just beams, just like the full heart one. So it works at full or almost empty. Interesting. Does that count as a separate technique? It does too. <laughs> A lot of them were like upgrades, so I don't know if it's gonna be an upgrade to that. Also, is it more powerful? Um, we'll see. It, it might just be the same as the other beam. Which is interesting, because we got so many upgrades to the abilities that just upgraded a scroll. But this one's kind of like an upgrade to the sword beam one, but it's a whole separate scroll. Like the spin attack, we got like a faster charge for it. Uh, we got, like, the duplication spin faster for, like, charging that up. Also, I didn't want to say anything about the location in case I eventually came across it. I'm just surprised we didn't come here, so thank you. <laughs> yeah. Pretty thorough, like, everywhere else, but... It can be easy to miss this little look of the world. <laughs> Yeah, the ghost swordsman will do in just a moment. I I want to check out the cave first, if that's okay. Where did it open? Oh, uh, somewhere around here? Here. Yes, okay. So, warp to castle really quick. Then just, like, right there. So, I'll probably do this. Check out the cave. Then checking with the master swordsman. Then talking with the tingles. And that gives us a bunch of stuff to do before anything else. Mm. Oh wait, I have a bunch of money. I should probably spend that money. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of shells, because we can. I would just hate to fill up, you know? the postman too because the uh yeah we're literally waiting for a sword technique to buy the next postman journal which is helpful because that drains our rupees so we need to buy those books nope 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 mm -hmm. just trying to fast swim I wonder if I can get the next the final two I don't know oh here it is okay I came in swordsman newsletter um yes for real swordsman only Roll attack, you do mid-roll. Uh, attack just as you finish the roll. Just as you start the roll. Huh? Oh, so like to do a quicker dash instead of a full roll, then a dash. Hmm. Camouflage shell shocks. Friends festing themselves with grass and rocks. Um... 
remove their camel without trying to pick them up? Oh, those little spider things. Is that what they're called? Camo? Interesting. Okay. So the cane. It's interesting, but... Those short fuse bomb bombs. There's another thing. These are bombs at a higher rate. It makes sense. <laughs> I haven't seen those in a while. Or a little bit. Down your pen. Teacher at heart. Like superstar. <laughs> I wonder if we have to get the final one, but we'll see. Towards the newsletter. Okay. Is it available? It's probably have to get the final one, aren't we? Oh. <laughs> yep. Passing the final technique. I think it's cool. It's like you learn sword techniques to help your sword merit and variety. And it also unlocks more knowledge, too. It's like double the amount of teachings passed on. Okay, but this is right next to the warp. Wait, I, I did just say I was gonna... Sorry, I said I was gonna get that waterfall cave, but I, I'm a huge liar. We'll do that afterwards. We have momentum in this right now. Okay. Swordsman teachings. I really want to see what everything is. Excited. Oh, right. Okay, what could the final technique be? It can't be a spin attack, but I don't know. Could just be a thing for damage. Now, how unique could it be? We'll see. <laughs> um, true Master Swordsman. Skills that are all of this world. I'm interesting. Hmm. Only I have mastered. The great... Oh, okay. I was like, is it an upgrade to something? It's a great spin attack. Okay. Press the button repeatedly? Because you're charging it, releasing it, then mashing it? Okay. Spooky possession. Ghost style. Whoa! You can move with that! It's like a whirlwind spin. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's so cool. Great spin attack. Ultimate sword technique. Literally just clears out a whole area. And you can... Con oh. Free movement? It just keeps going! For like, at least two seconds. <laughs> that's crazy. <gasps> I was like, what could it be? Like, what sort of buff for a final technique? I was not expecting anything like that. <laughs> Just, yeah, a blender. Moving style. <laughs> I think we have, like, all the... Almost all the abilities. I mean, it just feels so overpowered now. It's like, shoot sword beams, charge a very fast spin, duplication thing, charge faster. I can channel that spin into more things. <laughs> The spin attack even shoots a beam at the end, so. Okay, naturally it just goes up if you don't control it. Interesting. <laughs> okay, um, what else? There was that, that roll ability. Oh, I see. So the long one? Wait, I did it once. That's hard to execute, but it's like... Wait. Yep. Okay, so that's better, because a lot of times something was close, but I still want to use that move. Ah. Yep. That's probably the hardest one to pull off. Once more. There we go. It, the timing has to be very close. So that's to register what you're doing it early. It, does, it definitely have done that by accident once or twice. If not more. I was more so just like, hmm. <laughs> okay, that's so cool. Um, 
Now I'm going to town and reading the final issue. Don't have an issue with that. <laughs> so many awesome techniques. <laughs> like, this game has by far the most variety of sword play with even just most Zelda games. Like, I mean, obviously hard to rival the new ones with like all the different weapon types. But there's just one weapon type with all the different abilities. There's a crazy amount of variety with this. You have that, you have the, you know, the ground slam. You have the different types of spin attacks. <laughs> I love that so much. Oh, we're going to the finale, just crazy OP with variety. Okay. Final newsletter, way to the sacred blade. Wish you could unleash spin attack a little faster. And a longer great spin attack. Yeah. I have confirmed it. There may be a way. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just easing me on. One-eyed statue Igor. Shoot him with an arrow to make him move. If you beat him, he always drops spare arrows, which makes sense. I mean, you probably experienced that when killing him initially. <laughs> you never see him again. Uh. Armos, Fable, Creations of the Minish. Right, the ones you crawl up. Drop Kinstun pieces. Oh, okay. Better guaranteed way to get them. Um, interesting final edition. What, what, what was the first one saying? Till next time. Sorry, I thought it was going to lead into something else. Uh, wish you could unleash your spin attack a little faster. Split faster. Longer great spin attack. There may be. Okay, so just telling you abilities that you might have missed. Because those are like side branching abilities. Wait, longer great spin attack? Oh, okay, so that's an ability we didn't get. So, yeah, the spin attack. Let's see, he was talking about, uh,. Yeah, spin attack faster, we have that one. Um, split faster, we have that one. But longer great spin, we don't. I feel like that's one, well, one we haven't seen, but that could be like an ability you get in Hyrule Castle. I don't know. Like there's not normally abilities in dungeons, but it's making me think like Ocarina of Time, like there's like an ability you can get like halfway through the final dungeon. It's kind of right by the, you know, final dungeon itself. Or it's just something we haven't found, so. It's already a few seconds long, though. Okay, before anything else, I know we have that cape to check out and also the Tingle Brothers. <laughs> Not just one after the other, this is awesome, actually. There are more masters and scroll. Really? Wait, we've seen... I remember seeing at least like two of them that didn't give... It was just a scroll upgrade. I don't remember. That's crazy. Just the amount of upgrades and uh, ways you can really put variety in your style. So cool. The freshest... I guess 2D Zelda comment there is. We're going to spend some shells. I'm just going to zero it out. <laughs> They're just called traps. Trap with sharp blades. Some are triggered by intruders. Some follow a path. Also for curiosity, I'm going to do one cheaply. Yeah, honestly, probably just easier just to do one for the entire thing. You won't have to, like, grind shells. Because, yeah, like, three pulls... AKA three shells is probably the chance to get just one. If you're stacking the odds. Yeah. So I'm spending like almost 70 of them. I'm just spending one and it's a one in three shot still, so. Oh my god, we got one with just one. <laughs> but still, just more downtime, but it is the more efficient way. I've been just having so many extra shells, so I've been having to dump so they don't just spill over and I can't carry them. Yeah, good tips.
I'm gonna do one more with just the one. We'll keep going until it goes through. If we get two in a row at like 30%. That'd be kind of crazy. I... Okay. Zillin friends. I want the drippy nose. <laughs> no, his name's Booger Boy. We, we all know that. <laughs> Straight from the islands. Bakram or er, Wind Waker. <laughs> Give you some tips. A little parade. You know, I'm just gonna keep going till it fails once. <laughs> this is really pushing the luck, but I already passed twice on 30% probability. Oh my god, what? <laughs> the Carpenters! Maybe rough around the edges, but they do good work. Touch with their feminine side. Interesting thing to add. <laughs> this is their legacy. Hard work, feminine side. The Carpenters. It's like an advert. <laughs> Yay. We're gonna do one more. Um, also, how many times have I played Minish Cap before? Um, I played it twice back when I was in high school, which is like almost a decade ago. Um, eight years ago, we'll say. Uh, I never 100%ed it. I just liked the base game a lot. Then I played it again back to back. So I did a decent bit of side content, but not like everything like this. I just like kind of romping through the main story. Okay, now we're getting duplicates. Mm -hmm. but yeah, he gets some, some money. Trade. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to max it out again. We had technically third playthrough Minish Cap, but after... Yeah, I want to say it was like 2015, 16, so almost a decade ago, which is insane. So I think I got most of the swords and skills when I played at least my first playthrough. My second one was more like a speedrun kind of playthrough, from what I remember. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> They're dating, plan to marry, once you get their pet's approval. <laughs> uh, well, that's important. The animals have to approve. Otherwise, they won't get along, and it'll be hell. <laughs> when did I 100% Twilight Princess? Uh, it was sometime I... It was either... Hmm. I don't know if it was right before Breath of the Wild came out or after. It was definitely the Wii U version, though. So, sometime after 2016, or around that time. I didn't 100% the originals of Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. Wind, Wind Waker I didn't in general. Twilight Princess, yeah. <laughs> we'll be able to use your sword for a while. Was well, that what happens? We, we just didn't get hit. I think I'll probably 100% these all in stream eventually again too. Um, Cause for my Wind Waker and Twilight Princess ones, uh, at least Wind Waker will be 100% my first time. And I'd love to do hard mode for both cause I did not do Wind Waker or Twilight Princess on hard mode before. And they'll be the HD versions, so. I, I still have my Wii U. Uh, it's, it's upstairs. I have to, I would have to move it back here, but that's fine. <laughs> I haven't streamed a Wii U game in many years. But Wind Waker and Twilight still being on it, so. Helpful. Weavers. <laughs> Wind Ruins, Veil Falls. <laughs> Wind Esque areas. Underground. Keep your shield. <laughs> Or the house theme of the game, same as Ocarina. One of the few themes that has not changed. So. Even used in uh, Tears of the Kingdom, again. Not Breath of the Wild, but for Tears of the Kingdom's house building. So. Yeah, this is one of those timeless themes. Like the Fairy Fountain. At Lon Lon Ranch. <laughs> not Lon Lon Ranch, just at Lon Lon Ranch. Because it's like the scenery. Um, father and daughter team, Talon and Melon. Sell the finest milk. <laughs> we always have some. Also, you'd be sad if I decided to do all the shells without streaming it. I think it's fine streaming because it's, it's fun reminiscing and seeing what all things we got. Because yeah, I haven't seen most of these, so. It's pretty easy to do. I have a good method in mind if I want to get more shells by buying them. Peaceful Hyrule 3. <laughs> Cav... 
Karlovs. Okay. Actually, the Ocarina of, Team, Ocarina of Time house theme is in Breath of the Wild, just very subtle. When did it play? It must have been like a specific house or something. Oh, like when they're like really subdued ones? I just don't remember when. Um, ringing a bell though. I just know Tears of the Kingdom is the house theme. Helmosaur. Right. And they're like a boss in previous games, I think. Helmosaur King. Metal masks. Pop off the mask. Yep. A common theme for Zelda enemies. I know there's like like Twilight Princess versions of those. They have a metal mask, but you can use like the claw shot to like rip it off. So that's kind of cool. Mm. Oh, we're out of shells. We're just going to do one for each for a little bit. One in four is easy. Also in Breath of the Wild, the background theme for when you're in the Lodge of Hebra is reminiscent of the house theme. Really? Oh, the king! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I know we're going to get this one. I assume it's going to be number one. So I don't know what that's going to be. Unless that's something you unlock post-game. So, we got King Deltus, been a fine swordsman, <laughs> and then got bladed, fought the draw with the smith. <laughs> cool. That was a one in four shot. I wonder who that's going to be then. It's looking a lot better, that's for sure. Just doing a faster scroll because we just did a bunch. Yeah, like all those. Uh, then we have like a couple gaps down here. But it's a good majority now. Yep, and then just like everything here. Just about. 25 shells. Uh... <laughs> we got one on a 25% chance. We're being very lucky with the low chance pulls. Yeah. I'm just going to do one more. Or try to get one, then we'll have to get more shells to get more. Okay. Egg crack. Okay. <laughs> Theoretically, two more for those odds. I just want to get one, then we'll leave. I had a 24% chance. Shouldn't be too bad. Also, yeah, green egg. Oh, no. I forgot there's tiers of the egg, so a green egg's probably common. Red's rare. I wasn't really paying attention to that, like, ever. It's kept getting new things, like, one after the other. Red egg? Oh. No, we did. We did. Never mind. <laughs> Big brothers. It's okay. Money, yay. I guess it's still the most efficient way. Efficient. Oh, what the? <laughs> I missed. Come on, I just want one figure, then we can leave. We had such good luck, so I think we're getting the bad end now. Yep. That's all. Just one, please. <laughs> Don't be that bad. I don't care what it is. It could be a... I was about to say chicken, but we already have chicken. Uh, random obscure enemy that I totally forgot about until I get the capsule. Like this one? No. <laughs> Come on. One in four shots. Please. <laughs> this is like the Lizelfel's tail luck from uh, Tears of the Kingdom. We gotta farm those out for the armors. Which is thankfully done now, but one in four shots can fail us a lot. Nope. We just got him earlier. Now we're like almost eight in a row. <laughs> well, technically one in almost four because it's 24%. <laughs> That's what's slipping us up. Oh! 
Oh! Yeah, the boss guy. Gyorg... Gyorg Pear. Was the name Gyorg used for something before? Was that a Zelda enemy? I'm gonna look it up. Unless I'm just... Gyorg... Why is that ringing a bell? Oh, yeah! That's the uh, fish from Majora's Mask. The, the stupid little fish. Uh, I was like, why is that ringing a bell? I'm gonna pull up on screen. It's literally the third dungeon boss in Majora's Mask. Mr. Fish. Um, is this gonna work? Yeah, this guy. <laughs> so yeah, he's like the sky version in a pair. Yeah, that pulled up, right? Okay. <laughs> Fishy. Females are larger than males. There's a whole species of them now. Just in the sky, you know? Okay. Also, you did the math for these gotcha systems, and until you get to the single digit percents, more efficient to do single shell pulls. That makes sense, because, like, yeah, when we're at like 33%, it's a one in three shot. So you technically get one, one in every three shells, versus spending like 70 shells to get it guaranteed. So that does make sense. We only did multiple because we just kept filling up. So it's like, well, since we're maxed out in shells, we might as well spend a bunch of them until we get low. That was our thing. Well, we got a little too low, but I'm sure like one chest will punish us well. Speaking of which, I'm gonna shamelessly buy some more. I am. Just so we have a good base to buy some. Yeah, gotcha machines. Is this the only Zelda game with the gotcha? I'm trying to think of just the other games I played with gotcha machines. Uh, I know Kirby in Forgotten Land has a system for that. A lot of silly capsules. You can get them in the stages or spending afterwards with all the money. So that's kind of fun. Um, yeah, for Zelda, I think that's the only one. I can't think of any other others. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other ones. Uh, Triforce Heroes I own, but I never played. But aren't they shutting down like the online systems in like a week for 3DS and Wii U? Which sucks, but oh well. <laughs> I get it, but it's sad. Wii U era was great. And they kept it running for a long time, honestly. Hmm. It seems like a swordsman thing. Oh, it is! Oh yeah, the swordsman leads to other swordsmen. Maybe this is a better spin attack? Or the longer whirlwind? Kinda like almost the best swordsman. <laughs> Love to. Yes, okay, there we go. <laughs> we literally just got the info book on it. Prolong spin. Oh my God, it already lasts so long. Maybe it's double. It was like, it was either two or three seconds. I couldn't tell. Spinning, spinning. <laughs> wow. Longer than before. You doubt another, you bring clouds into the mind skies. Come at him. Okay. I'm, I'm ready for this. Okay. Keep going. It was about four seconds, right? I'm not. I'm still in the moment, so I'm losing track of time. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Uh, yeah, I think I was kind of right. So, initial was two seconds. This is four seconds. I can't trust my counting. I used to be a better metronome, but in the moment, it's hard. Also, in terms of gotcha systems, uh, a Twilight Princess has one. It's the fish. Wait. Fish trade to random item. You can trade fish in that game? Okay, I 100%ed it, but I never did, like, all the fishing stuff in Zelda games for, like, Twilight Princess and Ocarina. How does that work? Um, <laughs> no, I actually don't know. 
So I like fishing games, but I've never been a big fan of Zelda fishing, particularly. Link's Awakening was kind of fun, though. Uh, it was more, like, simplified, like... The 2D games, I think, do fishing. More just... I don't know, it's, like, really simple and quick. I like it more. That's the pace I like fishing at. Like, Animal Crossing fishing style, or... Yeah. <laughs> it depends. But for, like... The more immersive fishing experience, I think Zelda does it pretty well. And Twilight Princess has a lot of options. I just never got into it. Oops. <laughs> I know some people love it, though, so it's not an insult. Uh, it's just not my thing that I want to do, so. Okay, we're talking to the other Tingle brothers right now. One's here. Yep. I guess that's how you're supposed to see him. Luckily, I remember where all of them are. How handy. Hmm. Twilight Princess Fish Train. Bye bye. Whee! <laughs> Literally amazing. What? So did I go the wrong way or? Yeah, but. Thank you. Oh, right. Why did I... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, canes are cool. Wait. So handy. Oh, gotta go from there. <laughs> Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, thank you to everyone who's been, uh... Just watching the series because I, I just don't play other non new Zelda games on stream very often. It's usually always been Breath of the Wild and Tears. Uh, and when I did side Zelda games, it was usually on Twitch. Um, like that's where we did like our Ocarina of Time 100%. And I uploaded that to our VOD channel actually. Um, but it is fun doing other Zelda games that aren't like new releases. Because yeah, I get to reminisce and there's so many great things. and. I see why newer games borrow a lot of DNA from them sometimes. But Minish Cap still feels very unique to itself. So I do appreciate that. If anything, it references more past games, but it's barely referenced after. So, yeah. What does it look alike? Well, this guy doesn't have a Kinstone. Why was it just the other one that had a Kinstone? I'm not sure. Do certain odd events unlock other ones? I guess. I'm still gonna talk to the other two? Because one of them had another quest post. So. <laughs> talk to green and blue. Start with green. I think he's just right over here. Yep, there's that thing. And then towards the right side. Sounds about right. Huh? Oh, now we need the cane. It's like I knew. Aha! Okay. This is a blue rupee one, but I'll take it. <laughs> blue rupee one, but a red piece. What the? Oh, it's that one. I was like, huh? Jagged pizza. What was another one, Monk Colonel, too? I don't know, it's all important in its own way. <laughs> <Boink. laughs> and then up a screen, then right a screen. Ish. Ish. <laughs> oh, we can do the... Wait, quick roll. Damn it. <laughs> can you do the quick roll again? Yep, like that. Ow! I can't do it in practice. Okay. Oh, there we go. We did it. Just barely. <laughs> Why is it... Whatever I'm not aiming... What is the timing for this attack? Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
So the long one works fine. We do it at the end of the roll. Easy. Go for a quick one. There we go. Okay. That is the hardest attack time in the game. We get it three times in a row and nope. 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 <laughs> That's the long one. There we go. There we go. Okay, two times in a row. That 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 was paced well. <laughs> what I did it like perfectly, I don't know. <laughs> there we go, and we got it. There we go. <laughs> I'll take it. Nice, okay. And we can do a long one. That's fine. <laughs> You know what, for this one, they deserve nothing better. <laughs> Whirlwind. Woo! <laughs> yeah, keep going, see what happens. That, that just kind of trumps everything. But we can get trickier and more precise. So, so it's basically just a quick spin if you get it right. As long as that connects, it does a spinny. <laughs> Stylish, okay. See? Proving is better. Also, what was in here? I don't remember. Oh, right, it was the fit. We saw this one, right? Yeah, I upgraded one of them. I think it's gonna give us fairies now. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? One for bomb, one for wallet, one for arrow? Could be fun them all. <laughs> Especially so early on, we got him. Okay. Yeah, welcome everyone tuning in. Um, I don't really know when the end cap off will be, I guess, until we permit in most things. Because uh, I think that, yeah, when we do the final stream, which will be next Friday, um, we'll be doing the final dungeon, being the game, and then going back for those couple items that only unlock in post game. And then maybe a couple other things to clear up too. So there's a couple more capsules. Because I assume there's more capsules that unlock post game. For like final boss stuff. Cows, okay. <laughs> I forgot there's so many layers because the fences partition the whole area. Oh, wait, is it through here? No, you gotta go through. Or you can just go to the other side, like wrap around fully. What about you? Do the cows have kin stones? <laughs> I don't know. So, this game played it so much as a kid, and the music is nostalgic. It's so great. Like having chiptune versions of, or for one, even just a lot of classic Zelda themes because it borrows a lot. But the new songs are great. Like, we're talking about uh, the Minish Village theme. I think it's just a very, um, well, it's a nice, like, majestic one. I like that one a lot. Which honestly might be my favorite new song in the game. Like, songs that are unique to just this game. But all around, yeah, the chiptune has a nice charm, so. I know this is like the cave theme from a lot of 2D Zelda games. But I don't think it's ever used in the 3D ones. Okay. Some people won't fuse, even if you have kinstones, have to be persistent, keep asking. Okay, so two of them of the Tingle people had new fuses. It's look good that we checked them all. Oh yeah. How many kinstones left? 10. We were doing that earlier, so not bad. Hmm. Wait, wait. Mount Krennel. So we're gonna check out the loose things first, okay? Oh, one was right. Th oh, there's literally two right here. Perfect. Are we looking past the village? 
I think it's in this pathway. Right, it was. This will be nice. <laughs> You have to access to the other side. Hmm. I wonder what the final 10 could be. Because, yeah, so, so many have to keep going back to. I remember seeing a ghost at one point that said they had multiple, but it was only two, then they stopped giving them. Not much main story stuff has happened since then. Um, maybe unlocking more swordsman technique unlocks more fuses. I don't even know. We'll definitely have to look up where some of those last 10 are, because... Yeah, we, we're fine here. We literally just check the area. <laughs> Love the music. <laughs> yeah, here in Minish Village, he's the same. Also, yeah, we definitely still need red potions. But I assume that's like a kinstone fuse. Oh, nice! Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> Very nice. Um, also, what's it called? I know there's a giant Goron on top of the mountain, but I have not gotten it yet. I, I don't know where that is. I'm hoping to find that today. I literally put him in the thumbnail, so. Important to see the big Goron. I think our only Goron interaction was getting the figure for the Goron. Some more could be cool. Okay, then we'll go get the bug guy. Monster. All right, you can't go down this way. The... Yeah, you can. I'm dumb. <laughs> Forgot you could pull those. Okay, spins work too. You know what else works? Magic. <laughs> Shuts off bridge, dies. Hmm. I can angle. Ah. Still very odd area. No, come on. Okay. Mission accomplished. Come on, no. Uncool. Huh? Oh, I have to... Oh, I have to suck up the pots. <laughs> Crafty. What is this friend looking for? Did we overshoot it? Ugh. So this is a whole tangent. <laughs> and I'm sure not a good one. Okay, so probably go to the base of the mountain. Which... Yay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think killing these guys unlocks more kinstone fuses. I'm just trying to do anything. To get those things to trigger. But after this guy, I think it's only like one more. We have to get... Sounds about right, at least. <laughs> Where is Mount Krennel? <laughs> okay, it's on the base, which means it's probably... Yeah, I have to get something at the base, too, so we can knock off both at once. You can just hop down from the wing crest? Really? Was I really struggling with something I shouldn't have been? Likely. I mean, that, that, that happens. Ah. Right. <gasps> I see it. <laughs> okay. Bomb strat it is. <laughs> die, please. <laughs> there we go. That was quick. You can die too. Just a little bit of my own hearts, but we have plenty. <laughs> I love this. Oh my god. It's still spammy, it was probably one of my favorites. Bye. Shatter all the rocks. 
Okay, now just a quick way down. Just like re-exploring some stuff. It's it's all fun, so. I'm cool with that. There we go. <laughs> Perfecting the fast spin. And then the long spin. Okay. Both types I'm now getting better at. Long spin. Quick spin. <laughs> but not spin. Oh. Bye bye. <laughs> Just so I know he dies. We're close now. Wait, I think I remember. Gotta go here and then to the left. Burn. Almost. Damn it. I like the fast uh, wind gusts that are in the wind area. We just go like soaring. That's probably one of my favorite parts of the game. The whole pace just changed nicely. So I don't think anyone else needs the Mount Crenel water. Oops. I should stream Cadence of Hyrule. I have played the game. It's very fun. Um, we, we streamed it like back when it came out, but that was a long time ago. You can probably find the VOD somewhere. Um, but yeah, that was fun. I just haven't played it since. Rhythm game Zelda. That was like in between the big drought between Breath of the Wild and Tears. Long before Tears was announced as such. But yeah, very awesome to have a very good Zelda indie. I don't think I need that. So I'm I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah. I'm good at this. <laughs> okay, so check the map for other ones. I think there was one more somewhere. I might look up like easiest late game kinstone fuses to miss in Minish Cap because there's 10 left and I don't have any more leads really besides just aimlessly checking. So honestly doing all but 10 without like a normal guide, you know, looking it up online. It's pretty good. Oh, we still, okay. Yeah. I want to get everything to say like it's... We did everything we could before. No new guide. Which I think is fine. Mm. The castle. <laughs> well, is, is there any kinstones in the castle? I'm trying to do everything I can before that. Big bag. Biggie bag. Let's see, we're still missing 13 heart pieces. Assuming they're all heart pieces. Um, a bottle, a mirror shield. I still haven't talked to the Goron guy, who I know is a thing, but... Hmm. Also, the man in Link's house might have one. Good. Good point. I haven't been there in a bit. I think we checked at some point, but not super recently. I could check the wing crust to see if anyone in the wind area... Also, maybe animals? Did animals have kinstones? I think they did. <laughs> this is the best now. That's absolutely crazy. The quick one. I love this so much. Just the evolution of strength. Really pays to find everything. I know a lot of people want a remake of this game, but it exists so perfectly in this form. Not everything has to be remade. There's like very few things I'll fix too. It's like, in some cases it'll be nice to have like a third button, you know, because obviously Game Boy only had two buttons, A and B. But another button for an equip slot, especially later in the game, could be cool. Such minor things, you know. Only weren't in the original because of system limitations. Oh yeah, rest. Sleepy time. <laughs> He's like, huh? There's two beds, you know. Hey. Do you really want to be that close? Okay. <laughs> Used to the closeness. Always on head. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that restores your hearts. We were full, but in case we wanted to. Good morning. Okay. <gasps> ah. 
these can This could be an important one, actually. Okay. Nine left. Hmm, that's... Okay, I know where this is. <laughs> it's a red one. For a chest. You kill for a Link's Awakening ass remake of Minish Cap. Uh, well, the sprite work of this game is amazing. It would be hard to top. That's true. Like, Link's Awakening, I love the style because it's very dreamlike. Uh, you know, with, like, the chibi dream. Uh, even the whole world felt like a diorama. And, like, the edges were, like, blurred and stuff to give that effect. Because that fit the theme of that game. So, it's like, yeah, that style treatment is always good for a remake, but... The graphical style is so good for Link's Awakening exclusively. Um, and I only mention that because a lot of people say they want the Oracle games remade in that same style. But although the pixel art's the same, I feel like if the Oracles do get remade, it should be a different style to like resemble those better. Although I've only played half of Ages. Um, so just from what I've played, this is my perception, I guess. But for this game, like obviously I could have a cool remake. Um, but just exists so perfectly in this form, you know? It's like, I can't really think of much wrong with it. Like Link's Awakening, it's like, yeah, I see how the remaster or remake benefited it. Because um, in that game, the two button thing was very limiting, uh, in my opinion. Uh, even just having the world divided into like single screens, you know? Like in this game, it's like continuous and constantly going. But in that, ga that game was like single screen, single screen, single screen. So the remake was able to like actually open it up. So in that case, they made it better. Here we are. <gasps> what? Why was I just in a, a chest? <gasps> the most anticlimactic one. <laughs> well, most of them are normal, but like the last one we had to do the whole entire Goron quest line for. But yeah, we have all, all the item slots filled now. <laughs> How awesome. These are just the quest ones. Hmm. Maybe I'll put some Pika Light in there. Or some Red Potion if I had it. <laughs> this is the game where Red Potion's like the rarest thing. <laughs> hmm, where the farmers have anything? We didn't. Were we just here? Yeah, we, we were. Okay. I'm losing it. Uh -huh. Rock, rock, and roll. <laughs> they're, they're cool, though. Moments. 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 Oh, wait, I'm supposed to use a cane against these guys? Isn't that what I read in the last journal? This is a totally different enemy. I thought I was talking about these guys. It might have been talking about someone else, then. But yeah, Gus Jar. Also takes care of him. <laughs> Watch this. Bomb. <gasps> Bomb. How many? <gasps> Two. Takes like a lot of hits otherwise. Also, how do I have the Sea Breeze Boomerang? Uh, well, easy. I went to the, the depths in Tears of the Kingdom and just brought it to this game. See, it's better. I can control it. <laughs> Left, right, up, down. And then it goes still. <laughs> oh, until it hits the wall, too. Loop -de loops Oh, that was about enemies with rocks in their heads? Okay. I don't know why I got confused. It's like... I didn't remember the name of the enemy. Oh, but you can use the can on that, right. Okay. So that's also applicable. Because we always use the Gust Jar, mostly. Mm. Yeah, not always good with names here. But it's everything besides... Well, I guess what was in the wind, Gust area? Okay, so we're going to get this one. Then for the final nine fuses, I'm going to look up, like... Most commonly, uh... Miss Kinstones. Because I'll probably be a few of them anyways. Oops. 
I see Breeze Boomerang carried me in Amiibo 2.0 for the run. I do remember that. We got very lucky and got, uh, yeah, the Seabreeze Boomerang for that. So helpful, because it does that 50% more damage when thrown. And against bosses, it just always bounces back to you. So you're just milking out a lot of damage. Um, Amiibo runs were phenomenal in Breath of the Wild. Technically possible in tiers, just not as interesting going by the same rules. Also, because there's so many more bosses to head through, and it wouldn't work without some exceptions, just based on how they're designed. Because the base amiibo run works because there's, like, in terms of the amount of items you can get one per amiibo, to the amount of health you have to hit through through bosses, it's actually like a suitable challenge where in tiers, in most cases, you won't have enough. Also, when you add, like, the, uh, the paraglider fabric drops to the equation. So. And then you're not using the f utilizing the fuse system very well because you're not getting monster drops. So it is possible, and if I find a way to make it fun and interesting, I'll do it for tears. But I haven't fully thought of that, and there's other ideas I want to do first. So that's why there isn't a tears in Beaver Run yet. If I find a rule set that makes it interesting and fun, then I will. That goes with most runs. But yeah, one per amiibo. There's a couple new ones, at least. <laughs> yeah, this seed still has to get... Hmm. I feel like it would be someone relating to this area. Okay. Good luck with the stream. Thank you. Appreciate it. Whoop. Ah. I didn't see what was here. I just saw it was a thing. <laughs> I just kind of rushed it. What is it? Uh, a chest, probably. I wish I could just kill him. I do this like every time. Thankfully, just the one guy, but... Still hoping for a Lionel amiibo. <laughs> Out of all the monster ones, that could be cool. Fits both games, too. Um, only monster amiibos we got. Well, none for tears. I mean, we are Ganondorf, but it's cool. Breath of the Wild had some monster amiibos, both the Bokoblin and uh, the Guardian. So, Guardian with like the movable legs. That's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, this area with the, the Pika Light stuff would be cool. We possibly farm a lot here. Pika Light. Here we are. Big bot? What an obscure chat. 90? You can just find rent. Okay. <laughs> it was like a whole cool, like, fairy fun process to get these other upgrades. And just randomly back to back. Chest with a bottle. Chest with a huge bomb bag to hold double almost. <laughs> like, okay. These are the Tangle ones, though. So the source, you know, being like a later game final thing, makes sense. The actual method of delivery is just like, here, chest for amazing item that you're probably looking for this entire time. Or not, but it's still amazing. Um. Okay. <laughs> Some people have fusion in the Minish Village. Uh, we did that at the end of last stream. So nothing big since then besides King Swordsman. Um, we're still trying to get red potions though. So I'm thinking that's a Kinstone fusion and then that gives the witch an idea to make them. Here. So I have nine fusions left. I'm going to look up commonly missed ones. I'll, I'll put it on screen once I do. Commonly missed kinstone fusions diminished cap. It's not going to be on screen yet. Um, One second. Okay. So I'm just looking at threads <laughs> of where things are. This is person did not get the light arrows, which is missable. Um, fusion and dungeons. <laughs> I'm just kind of seeing other takes. But Ten years ago, wow. How some village village you have to swim to? I did. But did he have two fusions? 
And you go back later. We went back later for all of them, but... Was there two fusions at the house? I don't know. Hmm. Treasure chest in center. Fuse with... Yeah, we literally did the purple teacher. Okay, so that was an easy one to miss that we did just get recently. Um, the bubble appeared later. Yeah, that's... Huh. That fusion's often missed while well, we did manage to get it, so... Hmm. So we're missing not-so-rare ones, but so many, so it's like... Okay. Area at Monkernel Base with all the dust pads. Look here near Minish Stump. Find that hole. Hmm. That that's a good point. It's a Monk Krennel base. <laughs> okay. With a bunch of dust stuff. So I'm gonna warp to the town. You have one fusion left and can't find it? Aw. So you have to look up, like, every single one, honestly. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah, because only some stuff is, like, post-game. So you should be able to have all heart containers to the final castle, right? It's not just me assuming. Also, there's a minish in the area that has a fusion for the bean. I'm just going to look that up. <laughs> Where is that guy? Because I don't want to... Um... Minish cap. What was the. Sorry, I'll put it on the screen once it's actually up. up. Minish cap. Wind ruins bean. Okay. There we go. Beanstalk 2. Eastern hills. Wind ruins. Okay. I, I didn't look at the reward. Okay. I was like, I started reading it like a. Wind Ruins, who do you fuse Kinstones with? The, for the forest. The forest minish who lives in the crack in the ground. Is it crack in the ground here? By it? <laughs> I mean, that that's what... Uh, okay. In one of the small... I guess we're going back. <laughs> that's nice. Do a couple of these. If we have a couple off by the end, I can try to find them throughout the week or look them up and then do them at the start of the final stream or something. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I guess easy to miss some cracks because it's like. Oh. This crack? <laughs> I feel like it's closer, but I honestly don't know. It's here. <laughs> I have to check all these holes. Also, it's finding the end result is easier. But you won't always know because sometimes it just unlocks a chest. And most of them must be heart pieces, so that's another thing too. So I guess that's like a post dungeon one. So Minish fuses, we're probably missing a lot of those, and I think animals then too. And yeah, not live on Twitch. Um, I only do that when we're like doing like a challenge on weekend, um, or like usually like miscellaneous games, like non-Zelda stuff. So it's really just a secondary platform to me. I mean, usually playthroughs like this would be on Twitch, but I decided, you know, might as well just do it on the main platform, and Twitch will really keep for. Like challenge run weekends and inside things. You know. I think it fits. We did this one, I remember. I, it was something I unlocked later, but we did that one. You can still check again. Okay. I'm gonna say maybe these are all similar with heart pieces. But I couldn't tell ya. The shield! Wait. <laughs> okay, this one's more monumental. They, they at least put it in a big chest. 
Unlike the little small bomb bag one. <laughs> okay, it's also 99. Yeah, why'd the bombs get like a little baby chest outside the temple? But this got a big one. Also the same area though, so that makes sense. All this divine loot by the wind stuff. Okay, well, I'll take it. No idea where the rest of the heart pieces will be, but... That's good. All right, what is this? Eight left, then? Is I keeping track right? Maybe? Yeah. I'm gonna check that crack, because I'm not too... No, I'm pretty confident, but... It's like you never know when fuses open up. <laughs> Grand scheme of things, I don't know how many fuses there will be. It's at least over 100. I'm going to look that up afterwards. All right, we did get this. Um, also, I didn't save in a long time. Let's save. <laughs> S-A-V-E. And I'm also going to create a restore point. Create, not load. Create, create suspend point. We've been doing this file. There we go. Yeah, Minish Cap, most underrated Zelda game. It really is. Didn't it come out near, like, the end of its life cycle, too, or... Was it slightly after Wind Waker? Between, like, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, maybe? And those games came basically back-to-back. -back. I mean, a three-year wait for mainline 3D Zelda games is pretty short. Compared to, like, a six-year now that it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. Perfect setup. But okay. Um, so do I think any of the Gorons in the cave where I got the jar would have fusions? I did check. Um, I checked every single one. One of them had a fusion, so I did it. But nothing more. Also, do I need a hint for the red syrup? Yes. I, I think that's a kinstone, but I'm not sure. I wish I knew. That's what I'm saving the final bottle for. <laughs> I'm like thinking. Shoes. We could do one more uh, shell thing just for the fun of it. Just while we're here, you know. Also, self Hyrule Field Kinstone for the Red Syrup. Okay, thank you. And I think there was a Minish Tone, wasn't there? Or, you know, we're gonna check. So let's do that after this. And then, yeah, we can do that quest then. Yeah, I'm just gonna do. One, maybe I'll stretch it to two. <laughs> and maybe we'll do two. So one in 23 chance. A 10 pull should basically guarantee it. To at least get two. I just got that one. <laughs> I'm sure is the probability going up if we discover more things? I just realized that. It could be. Because I know it's not going to give you a capsule of things you haven't seen in the game before. So it's like, I think more of this will be useful to do once we beat the game and come back. See, I wonder what figuring number one is. I guess we'll see. Eventually, right? Unless it's like final form body or something. I don't know. But I feel like that'll be at the end. Oh yeah, the Wind Tribe! People built the wind ruins. Live above the clouds. <laughs> yeah, we'll do one more. Trying to do some cheap ones. Actually, at 23%, it'll take around 15 pulls to get a new one. But wouldn't it be four new pulls to get a new one? Well, I don't know if it's working against, like, not having certain things. But it should be one in four shot-ish. Hence, it feels about that way. I don't know if that probability gets up if we discover more. Yeah, there we go. Tingle siblings? <laughs> in green and his twin younger brothers, ankle and purple, knuckle and blue. But then who's the white one? Believe fusing kinstones will help meet fairies, recording data in their maps. David Jr. is technically not a relative. <laughs> An imposter. 
I'll say, is it supposed to be... Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a, a Triforce colors, isn't it? I mean, a little bit inverted, because green, red, blue, if you're stretching it that way. When Triforce would be blue, red, green. Close enough. I'm going to I'm gonna point out the Triforce colors when I see it. <laughs> you ever think all the guys stuck here because there's no door behind them? He just has to slide over the countertop. He has important stuff here, so he... Maybe he just lives here. That's it. His people bring him food. Just the man the stand. I know I said just two, but... Addiction. <laughs> and then we'll go to South Hyrule Field for the red stuff. I gotta do it. No, I was like, I can't even tell some of those. Like, the mayor? I, I totally remember that. <laughs> okay. Because, yeah, we can do this, then get the red potion, deliver to the Minish, and then uh, in no time they'll make the final Pico Light. Big o Wait a second, we didn't see this guy yet. Legendary Gorn with the body bigger than a mountain. The Gorn is so big, no one has ever seen all of it at once. I mean, yeah, we I guess we technically did see it. We just saw the top of it. <laughs> there, there's Big Gorn. Okay. The thumbnail didn't lie now. <laughs> Only Gorn content was getting Gorn and Big Gorn. But how do you get to him? How do you wake? I'm pretty sure it's a kinstone, but I don't know where that is. <gasps> also, yeah, would I like any hints towards missing fusions? Yes. Um... Any of them will do, but I'm very interested about Big Oron. I want, I want to see Big Oron. <laughs> he's an important guy, you know? I have to know what he's up to. Hmm. Big Oron equals big skulls all over Breath of the Wild in tears? No! <laughs> that can't be Big Oron. <laughs> Imagine that's what they were. Just the bones and skeletons of... Big ones. I mean, it could fit, because when have you seen giant? <laughs> I hate that it actually fits, no. And the monsters live inside them. They're like evil cavities. Oh my god. Actually, the most sensible theory I heard. <laughs> Oops. Gorons don't have skulls. Yeah, that's fine. No, we're just gonna say that it took place in, like, the Attack on Titan universe, and those were, like, Titan skulls. Okay. We didn't see monsters like that in Zelda games before. But they exist, I guess. That one's invincible. Okay, I think of this way. Why, why am I lost? Because South Hyrule Field... That was a heart piece, right? Yes. Yeah, the Minish. Did he do like nothing or something? So it must just be him. <laughs> I have to revisit everyone. Yep. <laughs> there are so many extras by the end. And have these kinstone pieces just lead to more kinstone pieces. There we go. Okay, thank you. Wait, you actually do get Big Orn from the Goron Cave? Really? So you have to revisit? <laughs> we literally were there to get... I checked the Gorons multiple times, it was always just the one. Even on the final go, it was. That's crazy. Well, thank you. Because I wouldn't have went back, because I assume we got it all. But sometimes you literally just have to reload the area, I guess. <laughs> yeah, at this point, any help is good help. So, I'm fine with that. <laughs> So awesome. I can never get bored of that. Alright, then you can do the little stabby stab. Oh. Stab. Hmm. Alright, we could get an updated count. Seven now? I guess as soon as you complete the kinstone, it counts. 
twice your fuser can stun perfectly. True fairy. Cool little Nupa. Can't wait to be a fairy. Seven to go, okay. That's cool if you track it for you. Also, when do the... Yeah, when do the tingles, like, unlock? Like, is it after Wind Ruins they start being on the map, or...? That's when we found them. Yeah, one of those things where it's very possible just to beat Wind Ruins and just steam or wind to the finale. Which is a big reason why I never saw a lot of the side content the first time I played. Because there's always so much to do between the final dungeon and... Or, the Wind Ruins and the final dungeon. Despite it literally being back-to-back. Woods, but wrong entrance. Oh wait, you can just go up. Right. I can't wait. I waited so long for this. <laughs> for literally basic red potion. Like the base potion in Zelda games. Oopsies. Wait. Yeah, Syrup's house. Oh, <laughs> Mayor, never mind. Here. Take a sign. A sign that he should die. Yay. <laughs> At last. Welcome. Famous red and blue potion. Is it really that famous? It just appeared. Pretty sure I'm the first customer. Oh, it's better than the blue potion. Usually blue is the better one. <laughs> They're deceiving. What does it do? Uh, punish all your life? So what was blue? Like, not all? <laughs> Zelda potions being the most, like, appetizing food for some reason. I don't know why. It's like some games over others, but whenever I see potions in Zelda games, something about, like, the bubbliness of the jar, and, uh, I don't know. They all look different, but appetizing. I'm trying to think, like, what are the best Zelda potions? Like, the tastiest looking ones. Hmm. So I'm going to pull up examples. One second. Strong Contender. I'm going to pull it up. Ocarina of Time Red Potion. It's never going to give the good... Okay, there we go. Like, for some reason, I don't know why, but just, like, the, the jar type itself. Or, yeah, like, the sprite of the jar looks, like, really appetizing. It's, like, what's right there. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, having, like, just, like, the odd, like, polygonal shaped jar. I don't know why I appreciate the jar so much. Or like when you get a fresh one, it just looks like that. So it's kind of silly. Um, let's see. Wind wake. Wind Wakers look good. Yeah, I like the sprites for them. It has like the little bubbles. And the cork's just like... Whee. Can I have an in-game example? Well, I mean, that kind of works. <laughs> and then when you get it as the item. I love that. What was uh, Twilight Princess? In this game, the potions were like the chew jellies. All right, like the Ocarina of Time, like the potion symbol looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, so sometimes when you just buy the potion, it comes like the jar, but then it gets filled in your own. And it looks like that. So that's kind of cool. It's like the pattern on the bottom. Not the most appetizing. <laughs> if I have to rank them by like their appetito, uh, <laughs> that's about it. But it does have the pumpkin soup in Twilight Princess, so. That's like the best thing to put in your potion bottle. I do like that. Um, Skyward Sword Red Potion. Yeah, and this one's pretty cool too. It's like pretty simplified, but it's like fits like, you know, the watercolor style. Just like bright, cheery link, just potion. I don't know why. And then you can get, yeah. This is like the shield restoring potion because there were shield durability in that game. Uh, <laughs> And then Breath of the Wild just took the durability idea to the next level. Oh yeah, and then you can like scoop it into different things. So I did like that. Um, and in Twilight Princess, you could also scoop potion pretty coolly. So yeah, all that was pretty fun. Wait, can you guys see my cursor? I don't even know. Is my cursor short? I mean, it's whatever one I'm selecting, obviously. So <laughs> yeah, 
Oh well. Either way, potions are very yum yum, and I always liked them in Zelda games. So, <laughs> like cherry medicine. Yeah, red potion fire resist. Sadly, no game is like that. Only game with heat control or heat protection before Breath of the Wild. I know Ocarina had that with the tunics. And I think that's it. Or Skyward Sword had it with the earrings, right? Yeah, so from red tunic from Ocarina to uh, fire earrings and Skyward Sword. Also, you can't see the cursor? Okay. On mine, it doesn't show up on like, the replay, so. Not that it matters, but what I'm trying to point at something, I guess. Sorry, I'm very passionate about Zelda potions. I need to get like the glasses in real life, but they wouldn't justify it. It's like the exact style, you know? My new hyperfixation. Rather long running one. Okay, we're gonna go to the yep, village, drop off the potion, and then he makes you wait after you drop it off. Uh, but really, you just have to kill 10 enemies and come back. I don't know why it's that way, just so you can't just idle your game. So I guess that makes sense. Answer my own question. <laughs> if we could just kill those duckies in the nearby field. Sorry, ducks. Would be the best way, though. Right, that's just that. Okay. Remove that. Oh, come on. <laughs> If you just go to the side, you can dodge like everything. <laughs> Saves about a second. Another second. Oh, shoo. Sorry, heart. I'm ready full of love. Oh. Wait, did we check these ones out? Oh, see, so yeah, that one guide thing I saw. Um, easy kinstone some mess in the water. So I'm probably going to check that. Also, we've been streaming for almost three hours, huh? It's like the normal-ish length of these streams. The first stream was like a shorter one, just randomly start. In fact, we literally just started streaming this because I was streaming Tears of the Kingdom one day. Uh, like, it's probably like two months ago, if not a little more. But someone was talking about Minish Cap just randomly during the stream. I was just messing around. And I was just like, yeah, you know, that is really fun. I do have to replay that because I can 100% it. And it's been like almost a decade since I played it. And then like 30 minutes later, my stream crashed. And instead of just pulling up more Tears of the Kingdom, we just pulled up Minish Cap instead. And that's literally how this playthrough started. Just all in a whim. Um, <laughs> no planning. Oh, there is another one. Okay. So thank you guide for telling me. Yeah. And that whim of a stream led us here. So like the sixth stream in the playthrough, I'm not sure. Seventh, who knows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. Yeah. Oh, that's right by the warp. Okay. Huh. I'm glad I looked up that thingy. Wait, going back? It's always one where there's two. I think just leaving and re-entering does the trick. And then we'll talk to the Gorons after all that's done. All this. In stone. Yeah, all right, we talked to this person. <laughs> Gonna give this person the red potion. Then we'll get that thing we unlocked, kill some enemies, return back. Get red potion? Yes, I did. I wonder what it is, too. Like the butt blossom. Uh, yeah, so the actual technical uh, thing we need to do is just kill 10 enemies and return. Potion. <laughs> we love potions. So this is like Pico Light, so it's like a little fairy in a jar, I guess. Oh, so yeah, what Zelda game has the most potion items? Like things you can put in bottles. I'm really interesting. I just love the potions and. Obviously, that's one aspect that doesn't fit into the new Zelda games, but it's a distinguished aspect that makes me appreciate the older ones more. So, also, yes, I'm just. Mm -hmm. Let's see if the shortcuts. Or oh, wait, you don't have a thingy. Okay. Does a shortcut? 
Maybe, actually. Oh, yeah, it does. Because <laughs> we can swim now. Never mind. Oh, oh wait, we can walk. I knew that. Okay. <laughs> Semi shortcut. Actually. Similar though. Okay, so I'm going to. Ooh. Okay, check out the Lake Hylia one. Yep. Check out the Lake Hylia Kinstone we unlocked. Kill some enemies. Go back for the potion stuff. Also, I really wish when you got the new Pika Light, like, you would get a free sample. That'd be cool. Whole second. House first. Could be a refuse. No. <laughs> really has been a couple of droplets. Okay. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> it's the same as the roll button, so I'm <laughs> always pressing it. Oh. I think we have that. <laughs> Trying to slow us down. Oh, uh, ow. Interesting. Well, first, no more slowy stuff. We'll dive. <laughs> From here on out, damageless. Okay. Ow! No, I lied. I didn't know it was going to start so soon. You know, wait a second. It's almost as if we have a jump ability. I feel like you're not supposed to have the... Wait. I'm going to do it without the jump ability. Or... Guess we did it at the right point in the game, huh? You can't pull me out. Wee. <laughs> I like this is more fun. Ooh, and then what? <laughs> Just being painful. Okay, this has got to have something cool in it. That was kind of cool though. Yeah, I do like this cape a lot. Oh, that's how you get up here. Okay. This guy looks important. How do you find me? I'm gonna give you my number one treasure. What? Whoa! A whole heart container? It literally spins. And that was just doing for such an obscure uh, kinstone fuse, too. It is like all the later game ones just lead to better things. <laughs> Love the heart sprite. Okay. So, yeah, I had a feeling, because I was like, no way we have, like, 13 more heart pieces to find. So, at most, now it's nine? Unless there's another one, but I was not expecting a heart container that wasn't a boss. Very few Zelda games do that. In fact, recently, Tears of the Kingdom did that. Come on. I didn't want to do that. Okay. So only because I'm curious now. I really want to try to do this damage loss, like as you're supposed to, quote unquote. Oh, come on! Okay, now, now it starts. The death run. Going far, going far, really far, really far. Can I make it? Yes, I can. <laughs> Going far, going far. Can I make it? Can I make it? I think I can. I think I can. Oh. <laughs> Seems a lot harder the first time. So it is possible. We we made it. For the sake of challenge running. <laughs> okay, but now... Kill some enemies. So I think I can just go off the screen and do it. Yep. Not the cows will get in the way. We killed 10 of them. I think we... I don't know how many we killed. <laughs> Not 10. Bye-bye. <laughs> Big spin. 
most satisfying combos. Also, I love the feather. It's so great. You can just do a little jump and then... Boop. <laughs> or just a dive. The beam too. Yeah. It's like the additive abilities. You're unlocking so many new things and then variations on those past things. So like, that sort of synergy is so cool. Only other game to have sword techniques. Well, Wind Waker had the whirlwind uh, spin. So I guess that's where that came from initially, like this thing. Yeah, except it was just like all one duration. You couldn't control the duration. And then you would like spin it at the end. But it was so cool, um, very powerful. And then Twilight Princess has many sword techniques, but I definitely want to do another playthrough because I feel like I didn't utilize them enough in my past ones. They're all very optional, but like, feeling like the helm splitter is so cool where you just like roll around someone, jump on the head. Just very cool 3D combat tactics. Oh. Do the quick spin. Oop. <laughs> I win. <laughs> I don't need that, but I took it anyways. <laughs> just poke. I love how in the old games you can just charge a spin attack as like a little poker, you know? Poke. So did we kill the 10 enemies yet? I want to say we did, but... No, no we did. Ow. It's a long sword beam. Bye bye choo choos. Yeah, that was definitely about 10 enemies. But also, I'm scared that was just nine. There we go. This will be ten. <laughs> Perfection. For next, I'm going to use the boomerang, though. Oh, yeah, we have light arrows. I totally forgot about these, too. I haven't used those today yet. Literally, the fact that all three of the major ones have upgrades. Boomerang, you can control it. Rule bombs, you can control detonation. This, you can charge for damage. Which, I guess, makes sense because they're all on the right side. These are the upgradable ones, which I didn't think about. Mm. Did I explore the little pond in Lamon Ranch? Ooh, I, I can check. Long strip of dark blue that splits into light blue. Ooh. I did it was a while ago, so we'll, we can check. Mm. Sorry, I, I missed a couple comments before. Uh, yeah, thank you to everyone who's been here. Uh, welcome to everyone still tuning in. We're still going for a bit. Um, favorite dungeon in this game, excluding the castle. The Temple of Droplets was pretty interesting. Um, I know it's a lot of ice stuff, but sometimes it got cool. I like the Octorok fight at the end, but honestly, number one just has to go to the most recent one, the Sky one. Like, I, I feel like just the dungeons in this game just get progressively more interesting in a lot of ways. Um, so it's hard to rank on like a individual scale, but yeah, by that logic and what I really like, that final dungeon was awesome. Just the floating through the skies beforehand, and uh, you know, you had some really tough enemies in there. Uh, you're really testing a lot of your different abilities too. It's really just a test of everything, and then getting the jump ability to kind of cement just really awesome travel. Um, it was great in flight. Okay, orange pico bloom. I don't know what it does. We have to go back to town. Super Pico Bloom, Hypo, Hypo Wind. Which one should I work on first? In the sequel that never exists. Hmm. Town. We got got to see Beetle. And what he has to offer. Right. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this way. And then Big Oron. Let's check Mr. Big Oron. <laughs> you can't roll in pipes. Don't know why. Or logs. I knew that. <laughs> also, your favorite was the Temple of Droplets. Not a fan of the ice, but the puzzles and the atmosphere. The atmosphere was so great, too. That's one aspect that drew me in. Yeah, 
that and the first dungeon being diminished dungeons in the game I thought were cool. First one was executed well, just as like a, you know, little forest ruin. But since you're minish size, you see everything in a different scale. It's so like the giant spinning barrel in the middle I thought was cool. It was a good intro dungeon. The boss being literally just a normal green choo-choo, like the ones you keep seeing on here. That was cool. Fire one was cool with the like minecarts and stuff. It wasn't bad. It felt like, yeah, those two, like the starting ones, like they were cool, but everything else after was cooler. Definitely. I got to talk to Beetle. Wind Ruins had a lot of digging, but uh, it was mainly near the end because you can miss the big digging mitts like I did for most of the dungeon. But the boss was cool how you had to like enter from the inside. Just like the previous enemies where you had to. So I'm going every wrong way currently. Okay, orange Pico lights. Let's see what this is. Orange makes traveling easy. Find fairies. Okay. I knew there were things I wouldn't really use, but 100% sake, it's cool to have everything flushed out. Because you have more items, which, I mean, with 9-9, nine, nine, you're pretty fine. Fairies, we don't need that crutch. The hearts, no, not that either. We have seashells, kinstone pieces, and rupees, right? Leave those for the other three. Sorry, I'm going to see my... No, nothing here. Okay, so the Goron's next. Uh, we can also check the ranch, too. I'm going to check Goron first, because... I wanted to see Goron today. Goron's cool, and Goron deserves spotlight. So, wherever the Goron rock breakers were... Which were somewhere. <laughs> Not quite there. Mm. What happened to those produce guys? I'm not too sure. Yeah, there's just some other like markets. I think just to make it feel alive, but I don't think what they actually do impacts anything. They're just, you know, there, not there. At least I'm pretty sure that's what I kind of noticed. <laughs> so much problem. Just... I'm kind of blanking out. It was Eastern. No, it was Lala Ranch. Okay. So right a screen, up a screen. Area, zone, whatever. Right, and then the farmer people. Minions. Ow, <laughs> close. There's farmer people. And go on to the left. Yeah, so I guess you had to re-enter here to get something, which is crazy that you would have to keep doing that, but I feel like that. The last one I checked too, just to really keep me on edge of disappointment potential. Yes! Okay, we have a warp too. We have a warp. We can do it. Oh, what a nap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we literally got the statue for him too. <laughs> Big Oron! <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Big eyes. Big head. Big everything. Big Oron. Goron statue outside the cave is a little scary. Six Gorons at once. Smells ripe. <laughs> They're just working in the mines. Hmm. Can't tell them apart. Silly clones. Delicious rocks. Dig all the rocks. That's literally for a bottle. <laughs> I mean, still pretty exclusive reward. I'm gonna charge it up for max effect because that sure did a difference. Okay, warp to the wind ruins. I have to see Big Oron, friend. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I know pieces of heart, mirror shield were missing because that was hinted at earlier. Where exactly is this? Um, oh wait, no, maybe we should go to the sky wing. Yeah, we should go to the sky one, I think. Is there a sky one? There is a sky one. And then just go down. <laughs> oh, for the warp, you can run towards the bird to make it pick you up faster? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Anyways, big Goron. Hello. Welcome, Goro. What a tiny Goron you are. <laughs> the Goron only one. Unexpected visit to my distant home. Because he was from the other mountain. Like the other ones. Come back and visit you. Go. Wait, what? What a tiny Goron. It's unexpected. Ever accomplished some major feats? You should come. So is this post game then? And that might be the post, because there's two post-game items, right? Well, I, well, we saw them, so I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I thought I was going to block them out and like, no. That's fine. Um, one light arrow kill. No, it didn't pierce through the mask. Uh, can run towards the bird. Yep, it picks you up quicker. Okay, that's cool. Um, well, with that, I don't really know what to do. So, Lon Lon Ranch, talk to the cows, <laughs> and then see that little lake thing just to make sure. I'll oh, see so yeah, a missing piece of hearts. I see it. Uh, it's in this like shop, but I feel like a kid still thing has to activate it. Like, there's like a treasure room for later. Here, this one, right there. Don't know how to get in there, but I feel like it's a kinstone thing. Mm -hmm. When is it not a kinstone thing? So. Oh, so yeah, fruit people missing. Maybe that they got taken or something. Who knows? Oof, then. Uh, I'm gonna fill this with Pedialyte. Please. Attack damage. Okay. I like having the variety. So we have Moo Moo Milk. Fairy for when things get dicey. Healing, damage increase. Yeah, the, the shell one wasn't very good, sadly. I doubt these will have more. Yeah. Seems like the ones I looked up earlier that people got stuck on. We're both very valid. <laughs> one being the Minish that you had to return to, surrounded by the water in the village. Oops. Yeah, the other was the, uh, someone. Oh, yeah, the teacher. Which we got that one without realizing it was hard. No kingstones for them. So didn't the king have a kingstone? Or, no, someone else, I don't know. Also, you don't know much about this game at all. Second favorite YouTuber, so you gotta watch this. Thank you. Well, it's fun. It's like the sixth-ish streaming the playthrough. One more coming up, we'll do the finale, finish 100%, but it's honestly such a great game. And it's on Switch Online, so if you have Switch Online, you can just get the uh, this and play it. Very fun. Also recent, of course. Always Zelda. This is also a very fun game, too. It's pretty short, but it's like a puzzle platformer, so I really like it. Um, very short niche levels, but they're very much on like the puzzle platformer side. So, I like that. Anything too much here. I could try talking to the cows. How's the figurine collection coming along? It's very close now, so I can't get to that. That's disappointing. Um Oh, right, alternate way in, that's what that was. I just want to talk to the cows. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Lake Hylia shortcut. 
and anything with the water just just to make sure I saw this but sometimes it just happens like it just looks like that like if there's really nothing else leading to it yeah I w wouldn't have any other leads you know it looks suspicious though but it's like there really is no way there I guess Am I still going to talk to the cows? Yeah, I'm still going to talk to the cows. Right? Yep, that's why the telegrass is here. Prevent you from talking to the cows. Can't stop eating. Eat a lot of grass. You can make milk <laughs> and moo. I think we did it, but I'm just like... The more we do and even if it doesn't lead to anything, we know that it leads to nothing, so that's that's the lead in my book, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuse with animals while you're small. Uh we I think we did a couple. It was just a long time ago. We can talk to them, make friends with them. Okay, I'm gonna talk to the tingleettes here and see how many fuses we have left. But that might be rough for today. The other house with the green girl, we, we did that one. Um, yeah. We just used her Pico Light too. I still like the red one because I'm pretty sure it's just all damage. Oh, is there a Minish thing for her? Oh, with the cats or? Mm. I think we're all good. Yeah, let's talk to Tingle first. I think it's just in here, right? I think. People fuse kinstones. Yep. Uh, once more. Quite well. Only five left. Okay. That's a pretty good point getting all the way to five. The last ten we really needed help with, but... Halfway through those. Um, it's yeah, likely animals. I'm going to check other locations where that could be possible. It's probably all important stuff if we're still missing that much. So I guess I'm really theorizing now because it's just five more fuses. They can't all be super good, but... We don't know it's possible to get heart pieces from sources, so... I feel like two of the kinstones are heart containers. I meant to say containers, yeah. Since we can find ones in the world, two of them are heart containers, one of them is a heart piece. Because we need one to finish the... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, in the meantime, uh, we'll just do some more collectibles. You did very good, though. Need hint for locked door? Actually, yeah. That would be nice. Also, a miniature spot where you have to move bookcases. Okay, that could be helpful. We'll just do a couple of these in the meantime. This doesn't give you heart pieces, I don't think, or anything. Usually, this is very separate. Like that one. Trade. Hints blue shells. Blue shells, blue shells, blue shells. Um, when I hear blue shell, I think of Mario Kart, which is not helpful. Um, blue shells. Blue seashells are blue. <laughs> um, <laughs> my mind is just frozen still. Antarctica level frozen. One, one for cheap, please. It feels better when it's cheap. So hitting the bell in Castle Town, is that possible? I mean, one of the things was falling in a well, which also seems obscure, but... That was indeed a thing. Slugger. Okay. Just one for the discounted price? Second hit, I'm really close. Don't even tell me. I thought it'd be a kinstone fuse for him. 
Uh, 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 uh. Okay. First, I really want to get one for cheap. Sorry, that's that's important to me right now. One for cheap and then one at normal probability. That'll be a reward for getting one. Yes? Yeah! Er Ernie, Eeny, Meeny. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Highland vegetables grown in their fields are exquisitely delicious. And a person selling them is just gone. In the town. Oh. What was their number? I, I, I didn't read the rest. Uh, we'll do it at the end. Actually, no. I'm gonna read it now. Eeny, meeny, eeny, meeny, eeny, meeny, meeny. <laughs> Crap, I... I want to read them. I'm sorry. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. The delicious. Apparently, Brocco sells the best of their crops. And Brocco isn't there. Slacking. Ooh, I forgot to up the counts. <laughs> I don't think a 20% chance is going to work too well. If it does, that'll be awesome, but... Oh, I was like, wait, did we? No. Let's only make money back this way. I guess this way, if you just keep spending money on shells. I mean, it's 200 rupees for 30 shells. Uh, if they're all failures and you're just doing one-offs, 30 times 5 is 150. So honestly, if you just keep doing one shell at a time, even if you keep failing it, the 5 rupees you get back, you can just put towards buying more shells. So I guess that's the catch. Mm -hmm. Go on, merchant. Hey. <laughs> His hat comes off. Appears when he successfully fused certain kinstone pieces. Expensive but rare. Okay. Third hint, blue shells go up and down a lot. So my hints for getting up this door is blue shells really close and they go up and down a lot. So, I'm close. Blue shells. Blue shells go up and down a lot, and I'm close. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm really close when I was in there. Is there unique dialogue? I, I need to make sure, because if we're talking blue shells... <laughs> hitting all over your wall. That'll be helpful. I don't trade. Make it nighttime and steal from him and force him to tell me. No. No. Maybe I'm threatening him. Tell me. No. Please. I'll do it. Yeah. You had your chance. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not in there. Okay. Um. So it's... I can get in this treasure room very close. Some of blue shells. That was it. That's all I got. Um, no, wait, no. There's gotta be a reason why it's like, I'm here, you know? I didn't even try to do it. I just felt like I couldn't. And it feels like, more like it's a kinstone to do it. Do I actually wouldn't know how to get inside the house? Okay. Just so I don't stress myself out, does it involve being in the blue shell blue shell house? Like, do I have to be in this house to do it? Because I'll just keep coming back and trying random things that won't work. Do I have to be in this house to somehow? You ha- you do? Okay. 
Or can I just jump? I don't... It would make sense, but a lot of things are like very tall. How do I back out? I can't. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do that. <laughs> A blue shell. It's nothing going to do with it. Oh! Is it? Do you just have to fill enough of the collection to do it? Is that what it is? I'm fine with knowing that, because... Do I just have to keep getting more? And if I'm really close, is it just like one more? Like, is that what we're looking at? I don't know. It's just more? Okay. Like, very close to more? Or like, the whole collection? Because the whole collection would be evil. But, I guess it'd be a fair trade. Okay. All? Oh my god, no! <laughs> you know, that makes sense. The collector's house, I'm like, there's gotta be some synergy. Thought maybe like a halfway point. Okay. Oh, Colonel Hermit. Uh, lots of kinstone pieces. You won the fe festival just like the king. Body. Wait, can you get all kinstone pieces before the finale, or do you have to get them post-game? Because I'm pretty sure there's stuff in the finale that you only see through there. So that's a question I'm actually curious on. You don't need the after game. Okay, that makes sense. Are the after game ones, is there already spots reserved for them in the thing, or? I don't know. I don't know how many after game ones would be. So I know there's a final form to body. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do it this stream, but let's try, let's try to get one more. And then, yeah, hitting the bell outside, we can try that, okay. So one more of this, hitting the bell outside. And then we'll finish up this playthrough with uh, the finale and all the 100% stuff next Friday. Same time, it'll be 12 p.m. Eastern, start, around there. Um, and the other things would be we're finishing the Tears of the Kingdom 100% on Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern start. So, same as usual for those. We are finishing both our 100% playthroughs. So, and after that, we'll be moving on to a Tears of the Kingdom, a challenge run series every Wednesday. Um, and then eventually, we'll start our Wind Waker 100%. Just not right away, a little gap. <laughs> Just one. And you know, technically, it's more worth it to do one at a time until you get to, like, single digits, as you said. But we had some extra, so I didn't mind spending. I feel like another thing to do, if you want to use save states, you could just, I don't know, gamble your money away for high profits, then just buy a bunch of shells and then get the guaranteed ones if it's so low. Which we might just resort to that at the very end, because it seems like there's no other fast way to get shells. be fun because yeah, we can triple gamble I just want one more today 19% so wait if there's over a hundred does that mean that the probability starts or below zero with no extra shells or how does that work or does that ever this is just like zero out at zero. Then I think we have... Wait, is it really 19? I don't actually know. I don't know what the lowest probability actually is. So. We'll figure it out. As a little cap, just one more, please. 20% or 19% probability is kind of biting us right now. Gambling with time. Single shells. Mostly time, though. 1%'s the lowest. Okay. We didn't get that guy. <laughs> okay. This and bell. This and bell. I'm moving at lightning speeds. 
Oh. Can't waste two. Uh, spend double the amount for 1% more. That's why the one pulls are worth it. Oh, we t it's been so long, we got so many that like, some of them feel new right away, because they're ones that got so long ago. Oh, wait, I did get this one. We really got almost all of them, so. You know what? Or pretty soon I'll just start you know, buying as much as possible. Because if we use the gambling strat, I think I can do it faster. But we're really just getting the bad end of the stick right now. Should this not be a one in five? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh crap, yeah, it has to be. Uh, Ghost from the Royal Valley. One of the blue cap is Spookster. One of the red cap is Spectre. Spookster tries to be scary, but he's just nuts. I read it as nuts, like he's nutty. But he's not. <laughs> um, yeah, crazy how a heart piece is locked behind this. Okay, quick skin through the collection. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, not many gaps at all. That was like 10 gaps so far 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, Okay, 25 of them left. Uh, I could be off by a number or two, but I fast counted. So not bad, all things considered. Um, because I'm probably going to do the gambling strap for those last ones. Um, a little tedious, but we'll do... Well, some of those are post game, right? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out so it's not as bad. How about that? I'll have a method. <laughs> Okay, goes down to 1%. 1 plus 3 equals gotcha. Hint 2. I was in the location. Oh, wait. Are we just talking about the uh, the reward for that? Isn't it just a storage room? Well, like, don't we have to get all the things? So I'm not close. Okay. It only really makes sense. They ring! Gotcha. Heart container. Or piece. Okay. Wait, so that means... <laughs> That's so cool. It literally rang. Does it do it again? <laughs> no, it only works when it has a heart. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> it was the main mechanism. Well, they'll never know of an enemy raid. But I think the crazy thing is, that's a heart piece, right? So we still... Yeah, it says little now has four heart pieces, but maybe has max is eight. But that's still a lot for doing pretty much everything. Um, unless that's a heart piece and those three chests are also heart pieces, that's possible. I and then maybe a heart container or something else. Yeah. Okay, but anyways, ending on eighteen hearts out of twenty. That's a good point to roll into the final stream of this. So it'll be next week Friday, uh, noon Eastern. Um, save right there, and then I also do this save. Create suspend point. Yes. We have seven, wait, no, five more fuses, that's right. Um, the rest of the figures, and then just take on body in the castle. We have our awesome abilities to do it. The cool spin attacks, extra long. More arrows, bombs, magic boomerang. And yeah, a lot of fun stuff. We can boost that with damage. Wait, thank you guys for watching. It was really fun. Um, yeah, just a lot of exploration, but it's going to pay off, like, actually having all these abilities. So, constant variety. Um, next stream for me, yeah, will be next week, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, finishing tiers 100%. And then Friday, noon Eastern, finishing this 100%. So, yeah, I'm excited. Just working on a video project in between that. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of your uh, week, though, and weekend. We have baby Floyd to say bye. So, goodbye, and... Have a good one.